What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Return to Monkey Island right here on Let's Play with Brigands. First, big shout out to friend of the channel, Josh, for actually gifting me this game. This is like the day after it came out that I'm actually playing this. So uh, I'm very excited. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. Hard mode, more puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey for the pro adventure gamer who wants it all. No self-respecting self Let's Play channel owner would settle for less. Hard mode it is. Could end up in some embarrassing spots for myself, but... All right, Prelude. How's it gonna piece together? Been waiting a while for this. Take this, Lechuk! Okay. Eyebrush, come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're right. not supposed to be in here. Okay. We got <laughs> sent outside. What's next? It's our Let's parents. Let's on those two. Pretend they're our parents. Pretend. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're diverging. <laughs> Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> Don't worry. I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love the artwork. Um, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. Oh, I wonder if it's it. real. Giraffe up there. <laughs> How far are we going to take this? Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Heard that guy before. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. No ah. fooling. Wait. Someone just... That was a giraffe two seconds ago, was it not? Mm, reality is blurring here. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world. Ah, sounds real. I don't know if I like the uh, sound effects subtitles, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's get us some scurvy dogs, right? Can't keep Chucky waiting. Hello, sir. Two of your best Those scurvy dogs. are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. Uh, <laughs> bet that'll come into play somehow. Right click to you ask for stuff. You better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. All kinds. A couple scurvy dogs for me and my first Can we mate. Get a couple scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Is my word not good enough? Aww. <laughs> Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I can see how that would be annoying. That just okay. Yeah. I guess, All right. Never mind. Find hey, us a piece. I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down. And Ew. He's like, oh yes, please rush to get me a feces-covered piece of eight. Here we go. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Possibly. Something. A... Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. <laughs> nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. He's got a one-track mind, that Chucky. There is a key in here, yeah. Can we borrow your I key? I a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Need to get some poop money for you. I'll you don't bring mind. this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. You'd be I wise. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Yeah, I could see him saying that. I'd be 
Me, personally, I'd be one of the kind of kids who would believe that. I'd be like, oh no, better bring that key back to this gentleman. Good, you unlocked it. Sweet. Ew. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. With this? I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. This okay. is your idea. Ew! Ew! Gross. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we it go. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Mm. Probably got to get that guy's glasses. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. To get him to buy it. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. All right, Chucky. To get him to sell it, I should say. Try to save some of those stories. It's a long game. I'm gonna spread these out. All right. Make fun. Maybe if we make fun of his glasses enough, he'll take them off and start crying, and we can steal them. It's so mean. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. I know, we're trying to exploit that about you. Now what? Scurvy dogs? Can I at least get a chicken foot fry? Can we get some chicken foot fries? Mm. You got two pieces of eight? Two no. pieces. And no fries. I got one piece of eight, as far as you know. What can we get with this? Ah, he's not gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna... Tastes like a oh, piece what? of eight. Does Enough it? for a couple of scurvy dogs, if you All want. right. Perfect. I was digging in for Take a much a more boy. difficult ordeal what are there. You getting? What? there Just kidding. Here's yours. Ew. All right, that's worth a feces encrusted piece of eight. This <laughs> One bite. This is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't cool. know. What do you want to do? Chucky has good ideas. I wonder where those two people we were following went. Oh, our parents, quote unquote. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? You're a fountain of knowledge, Chucky. That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, hey D. Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. What'd she add to it? There. Perfect. See you around the park, Zithead. <laughs> Zithead's classic little kid insult. To-do list. All right. Bought scurvy dogs. We found the coin. I like this ordering system here. This is nice. Mess around and explore. We got to check out the anchor. Look at all the stuff she added. Beat Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. <laughs> add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Oh, we do still have it. Practice sword fighting, that'll be fun. Four leaf clover. Make a wish at the wishing well. Find our real parents. Oh, okay. All right, that's fair. Still a little with that intro, but we'll work through it. We'll figure it out. That's the whole point here. What's up with that's the anchor, cool anchor? D? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Owned. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a... They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then, people <laughs> noticed what sleep. happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. I think this is kind of interesting. The design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But that makes sense. the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V really? was bad luck. V you for victory? You can find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's oh, yeah. to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. 
The wow. little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. Sure. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. <laughs> So they gave up and went back yeah. to the old way. The sure. word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. Who would click through that the first time? <laughs> <laughs> we just missed out on a fascinating lecture there. Oh, hold on. I got the cliff notes for you. Okay. About that. Nice feature. What else to what other hotkeys have we got as I just start touching everything? Inventory. O is the settings. I'm gonna break the game here. I guess that's it. Pause the hey, game. Oh, that's a nice pause screen. They call a scurvy dog a Shein score butt. Interesting. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> Just right. how so now I might. They were used. They started then. The oh butt. no! You can stick on a modern that's to prevent the little flip. Most ink about third all, oh, but the only the word and they're called yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that again. Hey Chucky, want to race? There we You're go. On. Now was I supposed to be Chucky Three, or D? Two, one, go! Double click. I already figured Chucky that out. Wins. What? That's the line right there. Yeah. I stopped. Shoot. That's not fair. You up for another race? That's You're clearly on. the line. Look, oh, it's got the blue. Three, two, All right. One. Not hey, Sheena. <laughs> you have to wait until I say go. Oh, is that how that works? Yup. You're on. I'll officiate. Three. Two, one, go! There we go. I win! <laughs> Alt F4. Alright, I better save before I do this. Before I take any suggestions. Uh, here? Had to go in earlier just to make sure everything worked as we got into it, but... Alt F4. Nothing. We switch between the old and new art style. Oh, wait. Let's head back. Check out our to-do list, rather. Beat him in a race. Checked out the anchor. Feed the duck. Let's give him some scurvy dog. I want to feed the duck. Take some bread. Never mind. Hey, hands off. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Okay. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard ah. for personal property. Gotta run. <laughs> How rude. How rude. Sounds like it's like a little bit of Red Foreman, but it's also a voice actor I've heard a thousand times. All right, Duck. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Never change, Chucky. Here you go, Ducky. Let's do it from the pier. I agree. That's a better place to feed ducks. Oh. Done. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Here we go. <laughs> Disgusting. But you know what? It already had flies on it, so. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. It's just, it's just take the part that's not touching the ground. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs something to like collect the ketchup I suppose I oh, just you pick it up put that on your scurvy dog man I'm overthinking everything oh yeah what are we doing now sword fighting this kid's got a sword up here I'll do it on the ship sure let's be frank you can never hope to beat me. <laughs> no way! 
You'll never catch up to my level. But I, I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Do you want What's a up, sword test? fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Okay. Well, we practiced. Find a four-leaf clover. I like this. This is a nice list of little kid things to do. Wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. Take another bite with the ketchup now. Ew! <laughs> and then Yuck. just back to that I little smile. Ew! <laughs> Chucky has good ideas, like putting not I ketchup. I in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Incredible, Chucky. I wonder where this path goes. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. I want to take everything off our list. Still got to find another... Oh, here we go. Did you know you're... Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. Maybe we should buy, like, clean food. Nah, let's make a wish. I wish for clean food. Chucky had a mustache. Ah. What? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know if I'd laugh in that situation. That was pretty good. I wish I had read the other cool. ones. Oh well. I rushed that. Alright, I just need to find a four leaf clover and we are good to go. Literally, we're leaving. you boys mind letting us enjoy our day in peace? Thanks. Okay. Fine. Last time I choose you to be my fake parents. Oh, here's a four-leaf clover on a sign. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. You're going to be like a little mini game? Where did we find one? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Kind of stand one. out. Awesome! There was still one left. Darn! Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. What? I guess you can have my four-leaf clover, D. Uh, or not. I'll hold on to it. All right, maybe our real parents are out to the right. Hopefully. I guess that's auto save. Why does it look all sunsetty? Doesn't look quite as Wait a minute, what? Guybrush? Hey Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey kids. <gasps> Having fun? Yeah. What? We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! <laughs> we just did Big Whoop. Big okay. Whoop. Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. <laughs> but you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. <laughs> A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island. Where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never <laughs> did find the secret. Not the real one. Yes, what is sure, the secret? But that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is ah. this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I that have one. to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. 
See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. <laughs> part one, a friendly place. I got the part one achievement. <sighs> Feels good to be back on Melee Island. Classic. The pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. Got my name right. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly. Swashing Free buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. <laughs> Ships just He's here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Huh. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. That'd you be... know my history with him? That'd be a great situation comedy. But let's go down the list. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. <laughs> He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. <laughs> they say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. I was gonna he say. He said the same thing about He you. might see you the same way. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well. I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. By golly. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. Oh, yeah. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. It's bankrolling. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Ah, exactly. Scumbar. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Sure, we're saving often and early. Uh, not strictly a Sierra game here by any stretch, but still, good have to get into. Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum? Well, I was just about to head down. Great to be back on melee. Reelect. Reelect Governor Carla. Oh yeah, Carla. Hard on softness. Hard on softness. Pelican? Chuck is already loading the ship. Hmm. Should I say hi? I don't want to be rude. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. Okay. Do things your way. Three wood. Gentlemen. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. The host. Hostess. Gentlemen. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. <laughs> like a different one says that every time. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. A little full throttle. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. All right. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. Captain Trent. We're the pirate leaders. Captain Leela. Get lost. Captain Madison. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, Like no. the rocking theme here. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. 
Where are the they three other guys? Kind of send it to. Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Like we're nice and diverse now. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Rock solid investment. Should we just dive right into the pitch? I'm the rock solid investment you've been waiting for. Spare me the greasy sales pitch. All right, then. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wasteful man, Captain Madison. That's fast. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her <laughs> plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. <laughs> a hack? Exactly. It's a raid. Fine. A close up. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the target? Gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. <laughs> Yeah, they they always planned in the first game for there to be an actual secret, and they got away with it as or from it as they were developing the game initially. So, finally, it's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the <laughs> fastest? <laughs> Owned. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. No one's biting, man. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck well, himself is now. also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. No. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> Jovial Captain Pirates. Pirate leaders. Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. <laughs> Any final uh, last words? I like the old pirate leaders better. It also made me think of the trucker that was knifing up the table. He's like, hey, go on. I'm going to be knifing up the table for a while. Is that okay with you? Customer with a knife is always right. Elaine? <gasps> Brush. Whoa. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Yeah. I was hoping you'd turn up in this Me story. Me too. I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. Scurvy How's your scurvy prevention, prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. But that vitamin We've got C. We've come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. The person there is LeChuck. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. 
I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Portobello. Huh. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Hmm. Gives me an idea. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Thought I... Okay, fine. Real voodoo going out of business. All right, let's hit the docks real quick. Very quick. I love how fast we can move when we need to. Job openings. It's our to-do list. Yeah, we still have it. Get or find a ship. Use wads of cash to outfit expedition. Nah, it's not going to happen. We'll have to steal one. That didn't go so well. And relive the glory days. Ba, 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 ba. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Man. Looking for a job? Step this way. Chuck's got his stuff the together. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. <laughs> you look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Right. I'd love to be a swabby, uh, to be honest. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be a second mate. I could be second mate. As long as I... Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate As long mate as he does? never looked at us. Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? <laughs> I thought so. How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Blood on outside, Sorry. bad. Blood on inside, good. I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, I maybe. thought it was eight. Don't waste yeah. my time, okay? I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. <laughs> That's how you get out of that conversation. All right, fine. I'll swallow my pride and swab the deck. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Franzel Neekberm. Yeah, I can't go with three wood. Andrew LeChuck, no relation. I like that. Andrew LeChuck, no relation. What a coincidence. <laughs> LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. What? In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. Ah. You're obviously guy brushed through. The only name on that list? Wow. Well, that's a slight hit. Guy holds a grudge. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. All right, we're going to need some sort of disguise. And a mop. Ironically, they would hire Grog. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, yeah. Chuck. But he does know how to stock a ship. And he knows how to have a ship, too, apparently. If we were Roger Wilco, we'd have this gig. No problem. Why was Wally in such a hurry? Wally! He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. What? Wally? 
Hold up. Wait for Guybrush. All right. Let's check out the voodoo shop. Going out of business. Maybe we can get a deal ah, on a mob. House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Hmm. Everything's gotta go. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Fair point, Dad. Only Dev. you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gift. Yeah, I was gonna say. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. Nice. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Cool. Oh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. <laughs> like paying attention to what you're reaching and tossing in the pot there. When you are unsure of the way forward. Oh, the hint book. Open this book for <laughs> guidance on what is to come. That's handy. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. <laughs> Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voice. That's true. We won't lean on it unless Thanks. we need to. No charge. Uh, but yeah, I could see how that would make walkthroughs for this game kind of obsolete, actually. Problem, problem. The earliest opportunity. First, we gotta join the crew. Alright. Got any mops? I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. <laughs> the true master is the cook at the scumba. Your sign says you're going out of business. Oh. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? Right. There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. For what? That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. Is there really dark magic, or again, is this just part of the sales pitch? How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power Grabs of Grabs Thiefy secrets. McSteels and makes him dance I the jitterbug. I'm expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Just ask uh, Rakesh. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be. But dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot. <laughs> it has many uses. This is Leilani Jones, voice acting, by the way. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic. magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. It's Thiefies. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always we just saw her. close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers. <laughs> Only questions that are finished. Uh, she did kind of answer your question. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. He needs a mop, but too? his intentions <laughs> are dark. Oh, he does need a mop. He would use Indirectly. the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. <laughs> but it's awkward, like when your glass is empty, but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. At a party. It's Corina. Oh. Oh. Okay. Karina. Nice. Beautiful name. 
Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. Yep. That is true of many things. So true. Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Finding out the secret of Monkey Island. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. No. Never mind. I never do. <laughs> What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Like, uh, I'll give you one piece of eight for that. Like when Homer totally took advantage of Flanders, bought out his entire lawn to set. Too bad it's empty. Oh. An empty basket. We gotta check in the mall. Should have gotten right? here last month. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. Ah. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. Well, Indiana Jones be damned. We are going to get that eye patch from the museum. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No Don't thanks. not want it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. Keep up the good work, buddy. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Uh, I've heard that gag before. In Quest for Gore, of, I believe. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Maybe the secret's in there, even though it's not on Monkey Island. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? It's like a thrift store, except for the, uh... Except for that. I haven't been thrift shopping in a while. Wally's! What you got, Wally? Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky Trying to relive I'm the glory days. And I'm running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Mop, not map. Well, I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the mops and more mare? might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. And who needs a hint guide when you got uh, Karina and Wally right here? You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Fair point, Jeff. Yeah, we could find the secret anywhere. Heck, Wally could have the secret. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Wow. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, Felt like the Aussie what am guy. I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. Looking out for number one, eh, Wally? It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols <laughs> I just make up. <laughs> I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> right. Ooh, a monocle. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, maintenance. 
Oh, look behind you. A three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my oh. business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Now I feel like an ass trying to con you there, Wall. Wall Master. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. <laughs> Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. And when did you get so commercial, Wally? I don't think I have any money. Hint, monocle. Oh, I do have money. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Okay. Settle accounts. Do I owe you anything at the moment? I don't think so. Hmm. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I'd like to see a guy who's passionate about his trade. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. How can you chart out sea monsters? Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. All right. Well, if we need a map, let's head back to the bar and see if we can't talk to the uh, cook about the mob. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. No one's nearly as excited about it as we are. Hold up. Cobb. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these oh years, my God. you're still here. I was declared a historical <laughs> Ask me about Loom. He's still wearing it. Yeah, tell me about Loom. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sick of pirates asking me about Check Loom. out my Let's Play of Get Loom, lost. by the way. It's right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. Mm -hmm. yeah. These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. You should come. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. <laughs> but only the gullible Never and naive stand. would go looking for it. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old times' sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece <laughs> of fantasy storytelling uh, from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Latest. Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, <laughs> high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Seagulls! Eat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> Fan service. I love all of the Loom references in the LucasArts games universe. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just shot a seagull. Yeah, I would love an open world just like something like uh, oh. Sea of Thieves, but in this universe. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? What's up, Cook? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. There you go. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. <laughs> I don't know. If, should we just be that uh, coming? Yeah, I screwed up our anniversary. Forgot the date. Remember the date? Forgot an important allergy. Oh. She's fully recovered. Ah. Well, tell her I say hello. <laughs> Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. I saw that Frankly, mob. I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. Finally. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the chucks. Bold. I like your thinking. <laughs> I like this cook. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. 
The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized clean. That dramatic pan. I cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Let's get yours. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means What are you going to do to that mop when I leave the room? Spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Let's carve it from a bigger mop. Any questions? Can I just get your mop? <laughs> you sure I can't just buy a mop? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on I feel this. Like my to-do list just got a little more stacked. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. I would think it'd be more about the part that absorbs liquids, but... How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something All you right. must. Go in circles here. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. <laughs> when do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest profession. He's like, more I really should have gone off with my friends. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had He's to like, make a mop. Can't you skip over this part, Dad? Admire the mop surreptitiously. Abscond the mop. I'm going to assume we can't do that, considering he gave us that whole thing about the tree. But. Ew, maggots! Active little guys, aren't they? What's the deal with the maggots? Stay away from my mom! <laughs> well, it's definitely a mop. Alright. A wooden seagull. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Looming. String. Score. A lot easier if they just decided, you know what, we changed our minds. Sorry, we were really rude earlier. Have some money. We'll bankroll your, your uh, little trip. Anything else going on? A globe and a map I store? Globes too. I don't. This is for reference. Oh. It's got all the latest continents. Ooh. Hey, you got another monocle. They're like glasses. Wait, wait another monocle? Eat. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Oh, can I string them together, quite literally? No, I guess not. It makes things look bigger. All right. Make a mop, find the mop, handle tree. And yeah, nothing else has been updated otherwise. Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. Ever since lightning struck it, right? Marty will tell you Property all about that. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, This was my favorite novelty store. Oh, well. Meanwhile... LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, 
mint, and an annoying skull. Love that well skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <laughs> <clears throat> a funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? <laughs> he must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Just like that? Wait. Let him live. Ah. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to there him. There you go. Forever. Sure. That's the best revenge. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Anyone watch Our Flag Means Death, by the way? Hello, old woman. Good show. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Things are not what they seem. All keys are gold. It's the way of keys. Yeah. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. She's like flirting between like very interesting tips and information and just it, kind of babbling. Suddenly they are gone. You can find a golden key, but you cannot own it. Keep talking to her and she'll tell you the secret of Monkey Island, but you have to click on her a thousand times. I just made that the up. Note says Forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. I recommend checking it out. I like this art too. Are people upset with Aww, the art style? This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Memories. Bummer. Ah, the old jail. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? Hey! <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! There's and Stan! Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. Yeah. You look different somehow. <laughs> uh, no art style. Your people, notice, apparently notice. people are ragging on. I don't know. I'm down. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that... Too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone, while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. Swords. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. All right, Ethan. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. <laughs> I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. To do. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. Relive the magic. The locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. <laughs> I'm told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. Imagine that. I noticed you didn't say what crime. Yeah, you're a little vague you there. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no. That's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. <laughs> Guy brush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. Can do custard? I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Yeah, that is quite literally. We gotta join the crew, but first we gotta get a mop. And if we can get you out, yeah. Stan, what are you doing in here? Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. 
I was really hoping to buy a ship. Well, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride <laughs> right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about All it. All right. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. <laughs> what did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? You expose Blood yourself to be children or people. something? People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Hmm. Yeah, be a bit more... What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man someone? with a talent like mine to show them the Sounds way. Sounds like he was salted. And sometimes someone. people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam uh, okay. and misrepresentation and even fraud. Okay. I could... But it's all just marketing, son. <laughs> as natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. <laughs> Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those <laughs> handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Turpitude. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me <laughs> to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good. Well, you wouldn't trial. have to go to trial so thanks, if I busted you but out. No thanks. All right. Probably look even better if I just bust out Otis and Stan stayed behind. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. All right. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. Name it. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Guybrush will get you a toothbrush. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. <laughs> See you later. Yep. Important information. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. It says jail rules. Oh, is that rules. it? One, oh. no escaping. Jail rule. Well, let's check in at the locksmith. Open late. Welcome to my shop. Hello. Heard of the midnight oil, eh, locksmith? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lock Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. <laughs> That'd be like if I brushed guys for a living. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. Hmm. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Oh, I know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? It's rude. The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, oh. just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. 
Huh. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having like, a key? I actually encourage you if you want to beat this game. small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? <laughs> My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I'm telling you, with my two monocles. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock, I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. No, it's really exciting. Who's the old lady in the window across the Oh, yeah. You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Mm. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Huh. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Ooh. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Huh. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. It's waffles, I've got a system. Crackers. And I don't like it disrupted. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Hello. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. They live a while. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Hmm. These are nice. Thanks. Right. Mess with it? No. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. What's that lock? That's for hats. What's that lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. And please, don't touch the glass. What's that lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. What's that lock? That's for sealing a container full of evaporated gas. Very knowledgeable. What's that lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. <laughs> What's this lock? It's, it's so for a specific. small jazz band right. to lock up their gear. All right. What's that lock? A special one. Oh, uh, was actually clicking on different, different things? Keys. Uh, whatever. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. <laughs> At the end of the plank. My mother's. All right. Seems to be stuck closed. Let's see if there's any updates on anything. Shiny! A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Oh, don't touch pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Can I have it? Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, <laughs> jailbreak, <laughs> and theft of sure. ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person. I was gonna say, Guybrush needs a shave. Considered outside the scope of acceptable. Can I cook use. with it? Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. 
Whittling, Scrimshaw, Mumbledy Peg, Juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product. Let me get a lot of use out of this knife, Josh. Serious injury <laughs> and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Pirates? Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no knife. responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By I feel like we're gonna do everything to she told us not to do with this knife. Literally everything. All liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do? That's with the it? fast request. I am question. not able to answer that question, oh. as it could create <laughs> a liability issue. All right, some more money for incidentals. My, I don't know, how much do we have? I've got a few coins for incidentals. It doesn't matter. We had enough. Anything new going on? Oh, yeah. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. These are disguised. That legend is true. But only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Melee Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, so you've said before. I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? No. Okay. Thanks for the knife. Well, I guess we bought it, but still. Nice. Should we show off our knife to... We haven't talked to Wally in a bit. Hey, Wally. I have a knife. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I, I don't know. A wood one? Wood. That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. My sliver of the wood of the tree that I don't have a map for to have a map. All right, I guess we could like take a tiny piece from the uh, cooks if he'll let us near it. customers every single time we pop in clean looking pirate hi are you my waiter i want the excellent dish i had at the governor's mansion last week no. i i don't know what it's called but it was sort of you know a hot food a connoisseur it, not... it had ingredients in it or something <laughs> i'm not your waiter i already told your incompetent cook this oh. but he still hasn't brought me my dinner i don't work here i'm not a waiter Mop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Mop to it. <laughs> oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Uh. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Marlin Marlin? Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but... He makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. Yep. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest <laughs> idea what to make. Uh, yeah. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? See the mop? There's maggots over here, too. Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe <laughs> for monkey heads. But I can't think about that right now. 
Ooh, where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? Governor's the Mansion. Governor's Mansion. Yeah. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. But while I'm here, let's see. I just like to slice off a piece with my brand spank a new knife that I'm going to use on everything. Stay away from my mom. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. Maybe he'll give me a sliver if I, uh... Looks like a mugshot. Find out. Looks like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Stay away from that picture! Is there anything on this side of the room I can steal? Because you don't seem to look over here. Pleasantly scorching hot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can head to the governor's mansion. Is that someone hanging out the window? Yep, it certainly is. Can't tell me anything else? Waiter, I can't understand. Just bring me what... Of course, sir. I studied cooking. It is all about the hat. <laughs> all right. Something else we might need in the voodoo shop before we head out. Shiny? A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Fair enough. What's this tag? I looked at that. The curtains are for sale too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do. Aww. Give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> I slept you with your wife, do, but here's no a problem. frog? It works. Trust me. I'll take, I'll the, take forgiveness the forgiveness frog. frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. All right. I don't know. Just give this to LeChuck, and then he'll take me on his ship and bygones and all that. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. Ew. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists <laughs> like them. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. All right. The stuff was here before, and I just was not very perceptive, but here's a tall not bottle. Not very practical. All right. Lost Everything bottle. spilled out of it in a puddle. Sticky Nothing. bottle. Grimy like bottle. it's been there forever. Gifts. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin. If they hate it. frogs, then we'll need, like, a second frog to make up for <laughs> make up for that. Is the governor's mansion from here? Right, it's at the end of this winding road here. There we are. I I don't know if I could like sleep, knowing where this mansion is located. <laughs> just feeling like the cliff is always just about to break off. Beautiful view, but yeah. Oh, and that connects back to the interior. Ah, overhead view here. Chuck ship. Here we are. Good place to get lost is the forest. There's the shipyard. Yeah, we want to swing by there. All right. Let's try the governor's mansion. Carla. All right, Carla. Guy brush three wood. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Swordmaster. Oh yeah. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed-up hack. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low-hanging fruit, but it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. Aww. 
Let's see. Why do I have to go first? You've come far since I got you your first cushy government oh, job. Oh, yeah. I hope you're not about to try to take credit for me being governor. <laughs> I got because you in the that door. Would be both absurd and obnoxious. And I might have to skewer you for it. <clears throat> no, no. Furthest thing from my mind. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Got my own project cooking. I guess we are just talking. I'm not looking for insults here. Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Yes, well, I've come for a recipe. recipe. A dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients <laughs> in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions. But I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Not surprised. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Well, no luck with the recipe. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. Huh. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Okay. Anything I can do to add to my inventory? <laughs> Maybe I'll wander around your house. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. How many books have we got here? Ingredients. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? Oh. You've got a lot of nerve asking uh, that. Now we might have to you earn it. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. Uh, I don't want to like bust out my apology frog now. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back them. You never keep. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Can I borrow a book? You never, you never even. Here we go. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. Yeah. I need more than that. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, it's forgiveness for all time. I just bought the thing, man. Just seems like this would be used more importantly somewhere else, but all right. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? <sighs> it's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. Send in the frog. I reject your frog. What? I have to write something on the frog? Dear. Oh, wow. To whom it may concern. Dear Carla. All right, so it's good that we know now. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Elaine seems pretty well adjusted for missing the anniversary. I admire that you are hard. We read that on the poster. I admire that you are hard on softness. i shown your actions. Uh, Portobello? I feel like, I don't know, we can't like mess this up, right? The... 
as shown by your actions at Portobello. Please accept my humblest apology. Even though it really wasn't my fault. <laughs> I promise to do better in the future. Alright, let's try it. This is for you. Pop, pop, pop. Dear Carla, hmm. Don't read it too closely. I'm impressed, Guybrush. Oh, nice. Surprisingly thoughtful, considering it's you. I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. <laughs> and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. All right. So I can take it? Can I borrow this cookbook? Come on. We're cool now, right? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. All right. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Probably. Okay. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> Hurry up. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Uh, fun. All right, let's head back to the cook. I thought I remember reading Portobello's somewhere. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! So now that we... Yeah, can we like look Watch at the lock to here, find son. out? Like a... I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Ah, monocle to the rescue. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. There we go. What are you writing it down Watch on? We don't have a frog going. this time. Stan, I'm trying to get Otis out. You told me you didn't care about Hi getting there. out, so don't talk to me. Here you go. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. What a coincidence. Ooh, wow. What a coincidence. <laughs> I had no idea. That's good. And no charge. Even better. All right, you're a free hey, man, gosh. Otis. Hey, kid. About to be. You look like you're having a good time. That's nice. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case <laughs> and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. <laughs> Sure, you know, you saw how easy that was for hey, me. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Do I still have the key? Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Better man than me, Stan. See you later. Yep. You know what? They say the only real... It's kind of mean, but I want to try it. Prison is the one in your head. But take it from Bust me. Bust you out whether you like it or not, Stan. No thanks. I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. No thanks. Is there anything in here? I already copied this. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. All right. Well, I guess Otis is going to pay it back at some point. At least the jail is well lit. Okay. Can I? That's a good question. Can we get another frog? No, no more frogs. Never mind. I never do. Never mind. All right. Hopefully this, uh, I can find the recipe in here. Hopefully there's not too many recipes in here. But look what I found. I found this at the governor's mansion. Ah, ah, the mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so 
I'll just have to make them all. He got the ingredients. I better get to work. He was Thanks, God quite gosh. insistent that this mm. dish should have ingredients. This will be. It's about as specific Excellent. as he got. What? Just like that? Oh no! <laughs> Keep your hands off my mop! I was gonna say that just got a lot easier. Alright. Mop iced. He'll never complain again. Busy? Yep. Yep. Okay. See you around. It's car now. Where was a uh, well, brilliant innovation? It's definitely a mop. Well, it's definitely a mop. All right. So while we got the mop, there we go. He'll never notice. All right. Is that our inventory now? Let's put the mop back. There you go. Tawalis. This looks like he really needs to use the head when he's walking like that. Wally. I found this sliver of wood. Can you use this to make the map to the mop tree? Looks legit. I'll see what I can do. Ten minutes later. Here it is. Thanks, Wally. Cool. Somewhere in the forest, I'm assuming. Where's our, uh, here it is. Down. Uh, so like right up, right, left, left, something like that. Is that how that works? I didn't know you made globes too. I don't. Hey, Wally. Melee clock is still broken. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Somewhat understated and some. Still can't get the book back because he's still working with it. All right, let's uh, I guess head out of town and we'll try to find this tree with our fancy map. And I guess we'll use our map here. That was creepy. Something just popped up there. Tiny climbing. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. <laughs> I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. <laughs> Museum of Pirate Lore. Oh, there we go. Look for that eye patch. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. <laughs> Hi there. Who's in charge? Welcome to the Melee huh. Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks. thanks. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. It's gone, right? Hmm, this looks like... What can you tell me about this Massive novelty item? eye patch That's here. That's pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, was Captain the pirate John. of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Oh, it's got a tiny little monocle. Cracker mix, we can get more crackers for the locksmith, or for locksmith. There we go. Anything else in the storms? Pretty bare. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> I guess you could say that. Nice. I mean, I'm the same age as Guybrush Threepwood. That would be quite the coincidence if I was named after 
someone my exact same age. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Super retro. <laughs> if you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Huh. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. <laughs> exactly. Sure you are. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. Oh. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Why? Right, so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit. For the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. Well, have a look around. Please do. I patch worn by Captain John Lane. Thousand faces. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by huh. Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. Really? What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. Bunny. It's me. <laughs> it was a really touching letter. Ah. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close Conrad. to Conrad. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Cool. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. <laughs> Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Huck. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. Huh. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Did I miss anything in here? No. All right, let's try our map out. It's a sign saying. What is that the dark creature? The head is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. All right, let's take a look at it again. So, uh -huh. up. Right, upright. Where are we right now? Okay. Guess that's up, so right, up, right. Guess I lost my way. What? Right, up, I guess I lost my way. A glance. classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, Sharp slight teeth. wiggle. Flowers. Purple flowers. These must be lavender, or monkshood, or cyclamen. I guess I lost my way. Not sure I'm understanding this map. <laughs> There's the... I 
guess I lost my way. And maybe it's the stuff on the screen. All right, so purple flowers. If it's just purple flowers, I guess. All right, so we got mushrooms on this one. So I guess already probably not the way we were meant to go. Go out to direct. Yeah, okay. I'm with you. Let's let's start over. Well, what I just go through on this one? That was the plant. So now, we'll, did we come out with purple flowers? We came out with mushrooms. All right, so now we'll go purple flowers. I guess I lost my uh, way. All right, whatever. Let's just start from scratch here. So we'll go purple flowers. Purple flowers came out mushrooms. So come up purple flowers and go carnivorous plant. Purple flowers, carnivorous plant again. I'm with you. Carnivorous plant for the third time here. I think we're doing mushrooms to purple flowers. There we go. We got there, we got there. Let's get see anyway. Looks like there's a welcoming committee. Look at all the critters. Wow. This must the be the tree. The shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Adorable hedgehog family. Like your mama, little prickly kids. Oh. Knife it up. Got the perfect one. Don't throw it. Several hours later. <laughs> uh oh. Time passed. Beautiful night for carving a mob handle. <laughs> Terrified. We take down the entire tree for that one tiny guy brush. <laughs> Every traumatized animal in the forest crying their eyes out. Oh, that's so sad. Hey, you little deer. Tears streaming down. I must have startled them while I was whittling. <laughs> Some animals are quite skittish. <laughs> you ruined so many lives. That's fantastic. Okay. I'll take a shortcut back. <laughs> Guy rushes Carmen moments, right? All right. Cool. That worked out. Museum of Pirate Lore. All right. Anything else we could do to get... Tell me again about the eye patch. It belonged to Cap, supposedly. Yeah. What you're working on? Crossword puzzle. I haven't checked this in a while. Make a mop. Yeah, we need that. We need the eye patch. Oh, the lock. There's some very tiny writing on it. All right, let's grab our monocle again. Getting a lot of mileage out of this as well. well the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. We double these up. If one monocle is good, two is better. Double monocle. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Okay. Now we're gonna get Conrad out of here, but we can head back to the two locksmith. Creature. Is that on High Street? There we go. 
Welcome back. Might not get Hello. this one for free, but we have the mix now. Make can you make crackers. me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Cool. Oh, do we want to, like, give the... Welcome back. Hi. You've been giving me a lot of nice stuff for free. Maybe I should give you... I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take oh, nice. If you want. Don't mind if I do. Aha. And they have a parrot on guard at the museum. Belongs at a museum. Not for long, Indy. Alright. Let's try this. Delightful combination. There you go. Wrong key. <laughs> Slacking on the job, parrot. Alright. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Queen. Coffee? Can I invite myself into this party? Incapable of having normal conversation. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. All right. So we have... Anything else in the alley? Or anything in the alley? It seems to be stuck closed. Jimmy this open with our knife? Uh, I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. Lockpicking, you say? I don't see anything useful here. Yeah. It's just stuck. It's not locked. Let's just head back around. All right. Head to the shipyard before wow. we... Wow, it's worse than I imagined. Ah, oh, tans. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. So much for that. It says, tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used ships. Time was. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stans used ships. Just not right. Strange mass. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Take it. Pants. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Destination pants. Stan used this to clean oh. his ships. It's all rusted out now. Yeah. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Squeeze the sponge? It's good for relieving stress. Uh, would this go along with my mop? I made a mop. This, all right. There you go. Sweet. This is, this will take the eye patch back to. Remember. I remember when these torches lit up. Karina, what was her name? I already forgot. I can just go back to forgetting her name. 
There you go. That works too. Alright. Found the eye patch. Here we are. Can you fix this? Famous eye patch disguise of John, John Laney. Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good, great. So, can you charge it up again? <laughs> Good, great. I can. If, if, if you bring me one more thing a particular charm of great power. You couldn't have told me this earlier? I could have. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then bite. I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. Let's see what I can do. Thousand needles makes me think of that plant. Can you tell me where to find the bite of a thousand needles? In terms I of wish things I could. I've seen me too. Here on melee. I haven't seen that much. It's just my guess. Like an overworld map where I can just head back without having to go through town. Forest. A classic specimen of a lot of needlia. A lot of sharp teeth. Uh, trusty knife. Sample. Gotcha. You pointy little tricky a fight. Huh. Cactar. Yeah, if we had cactar in this game, that would work too. All right. I'm assuming this is what she needs. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient, powerful <laughs> charm or simply a plant? Hey, you, you took it. That means forest. it's right. You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Takes a drink. You need to spit it in or just talk? Okay. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. <laughs> you little coward. Like a child. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Whoa! Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Nice. Ugh. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I'm ready to set sail. I like how we just brushed past the uh, whole payment thing. All right. Anything else? Wally? Hey, Wally. Nice weather. Yep. Okay. Well, let's head on out. I guess see if that guy finished cooking for this other guy. Busy? Yep. Still working on it, I guess. Can I take this Are back? Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I'm still using it. I actually want to uh, turn it this time. Seems like... 
waiter. I can't just. B of course, sir. All right. Let's get our disguise going. Get our mop all. Well, the mop's ready, isn't it? Let's pop on the eye patch. Ah, I just right click it. I'll wait until I'm closer to LeChuck's ship. No need to scare the melee town folk. There we go. Cool. Well, whatever. We got it. Hi there. He must be the Can't even change your voice. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. <laughs> I need a swabby. It's BYOM. You look like a guy so, without many show options. Show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. Check this out. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Blobby spongy part. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. Shouldn't really admire the stick I'm like the post did. my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. What do you know about that? So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Should want don't to kill me. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Huh. Ironic, I just saw everything they just talked about. Wow, stowing away. On the Chuck ship. How are we going to manage to... What? Hmm. A dangerous journey. All right. Part two of this. Return so a Monkey you Island playthrough. Chuck ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said... I'm your captain I'm your now. Captain. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more no, because I'm alive and here talking to you. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice, a cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule, you are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Can I leave the hold? Can I leave the hold? <laughs> no! What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. <laughs> Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice nail knife going through you. Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. Aww. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, oh. learn to catch rats. You can drown <laughs> them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ain't an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, ghost chicken uh, didn't like is that. Is that the whole answer? <laughs> Go! You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hold sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo, ho, yo, ho. I heard it's life for me. This is your idea, Gabrush. Looks like you missed the spot. I'm Aww. assuming I need the grease. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. 
I want to see it do the <gasps> again. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. We are doing more mopping than Roger Wilco ever did. We just, in that moment. Whoa, all right, get inspired. Betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay your welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way. And that's for the book, The LeChuck Way. Don't get fired. Chance to be unboardable by anyone but her crew. Okay. Fun. At least they don't smell like live chickens. <laughs> Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Oh, yeah, there it is. I didn't mean to do that. What else have we got? Let's look out the view. I can't see much through this thing. Open it up. More chickens? <laughs> hey! Murray! Indeed, I am Murray. Why'd they put you the in here? powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage, with it, zombie man. <laughs> have we met before? <laughs> no, but I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. That sounds good. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plagued me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Oh, you're the spy. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. <laughs> Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. Yeah. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Hmm. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. Like you owe me now. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. You demi- All right. Fine. I can't see much through this thing. Trusty knife. There we go. It works on everything. Boy. These are really wedged in there. Oh, like that door back in uh... The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Rest of my gear? I mean, got most of our stuff on us. Find a way to escape the hold. <sighs> we actually swab up the grease. It just Oi, gets cut. You missed a spot. Come on. <sighs> All right. You want some of this, Murray? Yeah. Sure. I'll just put a little dab oh, on there. Oh, on the screws, right. Did I get all of them? Make sure we get all these. There we go. There we go. Oh, now we have a, we're a proud screw owner. Nice, two screws. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. All right, can I get out though? Should I take off my... I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. All right. Ah, it's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Got just the grease for that. You missed us. Yeah, the knife is clutch, is man. That your catchphrase or something? Uh, uh, it's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. There we go. Better. Gross. Uh, but it works. The grease helps. A little. A little. Got to mop uh, myself. A little.
I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Come on, tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. The grease helps. A little. Need more grease? Looks like you missed a spot. Luckily, he's not paying Seriously, attention to any of this. Dialogue. Ah, yeah. Did I just take some away? All right, whatever. That seems like that's more. Almost. Okay. Looks like you missed the spot. Oh, nuts. There we go. So much grease. Uh, it's working. Sweet. I'm gonna zoom out. Oh yeah. It's a pretty small anchor for ship to set. Looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Bloody blah blah. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The <gasps> one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yay! <laughs> the map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our What's way to Monkey Island that guy putting out the vibes Island over on the right itself. with a flaming head? Let's have the potion report. That looks cool. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been Fair there Fair question, Why boy couldn't brush. Why could you just sail there? It doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood. Picking his nose. Uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember squid that. Squid ink, monkey also, blood, Also cinnamon, presto. mint, and brimstone. And some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, flattened skull. and we'll be ready to cook it. Oh no, Excellent. Murray. You there, in the back, new guy. <laughs> hmm. You look familiar somehow. <laughs> we met about an hour ago. We met about an hour ago. Well, Iron Rose was introducing me around. I'm the new Swabby. Doesn't ring a bell. Well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Come on now. Come on, new guy. Skull? To finish the voodoo. Come on, new guy. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so. Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem. We already met one. Can I have a raise? <laughs> ah, sure. That's a good way to get straight into the, the plank. Where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then. Meeting adjourned. Finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Not a mop anymore. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull, like you told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Looking skull you got there, Apple, Apple Bob. Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax. I know I'm that just voice. Conversation. 
I'll find a skull someplace else. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, that's okay. I know you're under pressure. <sighs> Skull's about to be under pressure, too. Flam. This is a bunch of empty containers name? of preservatives. Flambe the Lookout. Awesome. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this skull. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. <laughs> What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. <laughs> no complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? Huh. You sure don't, Swabby. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. Hmm. I don't think you can, like, lose, but still. Aww. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. But it's so cute. Hi. Didn't like that. Hello, Scruffles. Oh. Come on. Scruffles. I don't think that's gonna happen. Pardon me, fearsome leader. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours Who's instead. gonna swab your ship then? Didn't think about that one. What's that? Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Alright. Let's see how we're gonna convince Murray of this. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. Feel the warmth. Toasty. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. Scuffle. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Why does he have Elaine's wedding veil? If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Mm. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. We got here. All right then. Nothing. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is... These open plan offices are all the rage now. Reminder to all crew, extinguish demon fire with the proper extinguishment. Other methods will not work. Oh, I barely touched it. Uh. It just fell apart. I was barely even here. Hopefully no one needs to do any laundry anytime soon. Ha ah, ah. Oh. You're out and about. All right, so, Murray. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. No. I really think you should come with me. No. Please? Please? Spare me your dull entreaties. I cannot be moved. Uh, figuratively speaking. <laughs> hey. Oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, well, whatever. Still adequately greased. Uh, you know, yeah, what else have we got here? This one doesn't open. Oh, okay. Man, this ship looks cool. Oh. Probably a good way to die, actually. Well, we're like moving. I probably don't want That's wanna... a big rudder. Probably don't want to drop off here. It's a big rudder. Yep, there's our eight minutes. Still impressive, I have to say. This one doesn't open. It 
just fell apart. I was barely even here. Uh. Can we knife this situation? Can we screw this situation? Is that all it needs? Many hours later. I think LeChuck wouldn't have that kind of patience. All right. Hmm. No. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh, good. Look at him talking about dinner. I asked about dinner, and uh, I got sent to do more work. Walking around. All right, Murray. Let me apologize in advance. <laughs> You're gonna have to take one R for the team. Remind me to get you a I frog. See no team, only you, withered zombie man. Let me up, assure Bowie? you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will. I mean, it's already through. It's just reach out. I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay. All right, I got your flattened skull. Should we talk to him first? How's it going in there, Murray? I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite <laughs> punishments await you at your final resting place. Give me one hell of a potion, though. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Monkey Island. Swabby! Oh, Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also, I... uh, oh, no, <laughs> that's the last we saw of Gullet. I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab. First now, swab. All right. A promotion. I wasn't first I swab. I won't let you down. <laughs> oh, that. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. <laughs> Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No. We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Damn. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. <laughs> Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. I love that you plan. You don't know like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? <laughs> no, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out... There is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Okay. Hey! Still got Murray. Hey, look at the bright side. You didn't end up in a potion. Still in my pants. That's not the bright side, obviously. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. All empty. So, uh, Gullet is in the water now. Can we see him? There he is. He's stuck in the... <laughs> Gullet! You! He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but right. that's clearly not why he's that stuck. That was already there. Looks like an antique. Wait, I already have a knife, but you know what? I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I could use a second knife. You clown. That isn't going to do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. <laughs> now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, Swabby. Yeah, right. I'm I'm top Swabby now. I'm first Swab. Well, it's actually first Swab now. Suck it. What is me. LeChuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. There you go. I'm going to give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow. <laughs> you might want to take a friendlier tone. 
This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. Less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. But it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Well, I guess you've got me there. It's not going to do you ah. any good. If I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm going to get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. <laughs> nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking <laughs> to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait. No, no, get, get me out of here for <laughs> pity's sake. You baboon. <laughs> I get you for this. Yeah, maybe you should have been a little nicer to old guy, bro. Well, I don't know if I gave you my name, but anyway. Enjoy that. Let's see what we had access to now that he's not poking around. Looks like it's empty. Oh, I didn't mean to try to fire that. Interesting. I feel like we need to make it a diversion at some point. Cool. Used up potion supplies. Oh, the crow's nest is freed up now. Oh, you're up here. So I didn't screw that up, eh, Flambe? These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the same. <laughs> hey, Flambe, ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison. Ready the cannon. Chasing us. Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron they're on. They're making their own potion. That looks like a cinnamon stick. <gasps> Mint, squid ink. Uh-oh. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. It's not cool. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. We just follow them? They undercut my three... I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. <laughs> Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. Missing a skull. <laughs> the skull box. <laughs> Aha! They're missing a skull. It's the one thing that we do have. We don't need a potion because they have one. What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. <laughs> I've got an idea for how we can get to- So you say, or someone who cares if- If <laughs> you could find such a person. All right. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? <laughs> oh, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm going to help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. <laughs> no love? No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Oh. Golan gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. I'm a little surprised to hear this. Well, I thought the whole point of this voyage was to go to Monkey Island. It was. But that was strictly LeChuck's idea. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. Come on. The secret doesn't split six ways. It might. Uh, seven. LeChuck only <laughs> wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. 
I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 Have to turn nay. some heads here. Aye. Change the vote some to minds. Go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Hmm. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Right. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors, Swabby. I'm not for sale. Wow. I have a moral center. Look at you. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Huh. Mm, not so far. As quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. <laughs> Personal play thing. Through like a that. reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I still think he should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Like our flag means death. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta get everyone on board somehow. And Apple Bob. And we need to clean up the deck here. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it? No Apple one. Bob's Go voice. On. I'll be your best friend. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something. Lucky I wouldn't be entertaining. my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives yeah. and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Hell yeah. Heard that. Uh, about your vote. It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. There we go. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. <laughs> do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. I get you. Uh, about your vote. Do something nice for me. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Uh, except when Putra makes it, unfortunately. She does not make it hot enough for my taste. Kitchen's probably to the left. What's the book? Below deck. It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Does it hurt to have your head on fire? I'm a demon. We're sort of all about that. You get used to it. He would have a demon on his crew. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? 
hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Ah, I think our friend Apple Bob. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Tell me again about Scorched Alaska. Prepared correctly, it should be like a hot poker to the tongue. If you stuck your head in a bucket of water, sort of help, help everybody out. The fire burns into water, so no. By helping everybody out. I'm guessing you don't wear hats. Once in a while, I look good in them for a few seconds. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about your head. I mean, what it would be like to have a head that was on fire. I can help you out with that if you are really curious. Keep up the bad work. Always. Pretenders, dude. Uh, uh, oops. Is that Golet? <laughs> oh well. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Alright. Is he in here right you, now? Swabby, oh. Come over here. Uh oh. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. Do you? What's your name, Swabby? Ronald Nickber? <laughs> Swabby's fine. Guy Brew Mike. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. Mike, look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good. I like an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. That was getting right. to know your crew? Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. Ghost rat. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. <laughs> Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods. She has digestive trouble and I'm tired of cleaning it up. Reminder to all crew, extinct, I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. <laughs> uh, flare? flare? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? Might have the it knife. Sticking out of Gull's yep. back. Here we go. Right after I stabbed him with it. That's one Probably down. still there. I have your knife. Done Grandma's and done. Knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. All right, that's one. Let's do a list here. Yep. Still got four to go. Business card, map, all right, nothing's going on. Hello, Putra. So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Yes, Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never, but they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island book. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value. And that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest so if I get her, on the I'll ship. get you. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Two birds. Oh. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit him in the mouth. 
Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. <laughs> or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. Mouth is watering. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, <laughs> not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the Scorched Alaska. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled okay. chef. All right, it's all falling Apparently, into place. I'm still only a cook. I see. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Future makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. And I'll get another vote. Retreat from the smell. <laughs> what? What is this? Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it. Even with your eyeballs. Not Leastwise, sure not while they still reside in your skull. Noted. What do you want, Swabby? Alright, let's see. Just spitballing. Just spitballing here, but Putra really deserves a promotion. She makes a mean eyeball suit. And when I say mean, I do mean that quite literally. Did she put you up to this? Putra has been trying to wrangle a promotion out of me for years. Go tell Putra her plan failed, and to make sure she's at the keel hauling at four. Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate. He stole the woman I loved, and I will eat his heart is at that the her? gates of hell. Did you really Fail, love by the Elaine, way? or was it more of a... My patience is wearing <laughs> thin, Swabby! One more thing, Swabby. Now that you'll be first Swabby, ah, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initial. I'm here for lounge and not... Some say it's grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. <laughs> it's paperwork. Jeez. All right, what do we got? Log messes found around the ship. Return for her initials. Messes, like the... I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. I still think you should vote to go to. I don't want to. I'm having a crisis of fat. Okay. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. Okay. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than sure that. Enough. Okay. All right. Well, we got a mess right here on the deck. Disgraceful. <laughs> Disgraceful. All right. So just drag and drop this on things. I mean, they were complaining about the ghost rat. Ghost rats. Ugh. Ghost rats. 
there anything in the galley? <laughs> Police quest mechanics, all the paperwork. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. Revolting, and it's a slipping hazard. And we did it ourselves. Ghost chicken feet. I wonder what it's made out of. Take some ghost chicken feet. You go, little ghost chicken. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Oh. Oh. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more oh. vicious defending their young. Love these ghost chickens. Take some more feet. Feed all the ghost chickens. They love it. Three for three. Go! The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. Yeah, right. It's probably fine. Where else did we see some mess? Top deck. Scruffles, are you part of the problem? There's something going on in the crow's nest. Maybe. Look. Go at my count. <laughs> Still spin it, torture him even more. We got like barnacles. I'm assuming no one will actually read this and come down here to find him. <laughs> That's it. I've completed my report. All right, good I call. I should show it to Iron Rose. That's pretty great. <laughs> I'm assuming no one will actually read this. All right, Iron Rose. Done. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? And maybe while I'm at it... There you go. Sneaky as ever. No one reads I'll paperwork. I'll probably do my shirt in Few weeks when it starts to get hope muscle. we don't need to go back to that save shouldn't ye be swabbing hold on there let's uh, paperwork okay hand it over okay junior all stamped now please give me some peace and quiet all right putra your promotion just came through I'm happy to say Good news, Chef Putra. Chef You're officially Putra. promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. Just like that? Alright, so I can... So, Chef. Can I get the uh, Scorched Alaska now? Now that you're a chef, would you make me a Scorched Alaska? Of course. Sweet. I have to warn you, though. It's not going to be very spicy. Why is that? I'm totally out of demon pepper. Demon It'll pepper? It'll be fine. You wouldn't like the full strength version anyway. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. 
But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Custing. Alaska, extra mild. Thanks. You're nothing if not a professional. Should we try a bite? Dandruff and all? Salty. Ugh. Is there anything here to make it uh, spicier? Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. Ew. Pepper? Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It was demon pepper. Made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. <laughs> not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. Burn. In between, burns. Doesn't matter though. The shaker's empty. I'm all out. We're gonna get some more. So, chef. <laughs> Did you know Gullet? Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. <laughs> How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy <laughs> the at the usual. time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um, oh, this is gonna be. This will be good. I was asleep at the time. I'm allergic to the strawberries too. Trying to eat my brain, of course. I don't know. Zombie by marriage? I'm a zombie by marriage. <laughs> Good one. I was married once, too. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. That's discrimination. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. <laughs> you did just put your dandruff in some of the food, so, you know, I'm just saying. Birthday party clown kick. My birthday party clown game really dried up. <laughs> Imagine thinking zombies are scarier to children than <laughs> clowns are. Good point. <laughs> There's no justice. It's absurd. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. Oh. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> anyway. Poor Gullet. We're not going to help him, though. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Pasta? Whoa. I'm not sure those are quite dead yet. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. All right. So we need something to spice up this dish for flambe. Could he just like dip his head in it and he'll be good maybe? I don't know, is that a mean thing to say? Get the book then. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Ugh, take the monstrosity away. Ugh. This blandness offends oh, me, man. even at a distance. Scotch Alaska must be like a the hot on fire to the tongue. What else? Looks like it's empty. Didn't mean to. Glowy. Ready for cannon firing. This isn't like a. Like, that seems promising, but inconvenient for carrying around. Hot pointy thing. All right, so we're on to something here. Trusty knife. Brilliant. This should make it good oh, yeah. scorching. Fantastic. Not a whole lot of options for spicing up food on this ship at this point. All right, buddy. Just like you like it. I had to call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska. Sweet, poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. 
Give me the book. Alright, you just drop the book. It seals me inside. Like a lost love. A masterpiece. Eh, there's one bite missing. I, um, well... Much respect, Swabby. I am in your debt. I hate being in debt, so... Yes! Uh, let's just say I'll vote your way next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. <laughs> the one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. Cool. I owe all kinds of books back at this point. All right. Got some entertainment for Apple Bob. Here you go, buddy. Hey, Bob. I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. All right. Who am I missing? Uh, oh, I'm missing Rose, aren't I? If I can get Rose, then I'll get Butra. But yeah, we got uh, Dan Below with the knife. We got Apple Bob. We got Flambe in the crow's nest. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Still got the cat. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! What do you want, Swabby? He's angry. Uh. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? <laughs> the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a Wait, follower. What's this captain's hat signify? Now get out of here so I can think! Something to persuade. That's my private area, Swabby. I will never not use the knife at this point in the game. I will never not try the knife. That's what I've learned. Um. <laughs> oh. Murray. Still got the ghost chicken feed. Count the crackers. I've got enough to last me. It's my very own, very sharp, it's a great magical knife. ceremonial knife. Pirate Times, editor Conrad hey, Lee, Conrad. ready to publish your unrecognized. Inspirational. Oh, jeez. Does she just need to see the pamphlet? It's empty now. Do you remember giving me this at my orientation? <laughs> it's got some good stuff in it. Oh yeah, I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically hey, ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere. All right. Even when I think he's doing something We got all the stupid. votes. Just so we're clear. That means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. All right. Do I need to ask for a re-vote? Or don't we use the bell for this? Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Don't have to tell me twice. I'm ringing the bell. Bell, voting hour. <laughs> Didn't we just do this? The meeting is called to order. Hey, you're. Are there any matters to be voted on? Where's Flambe? Following medicine ship to Monkey Island. There on is. which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor. None opposed. Sweet. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes. So then you went to Monkey Island. Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret. All right. Okay. 
Thanks for reminding us. One last thing to do. Love torturing go that <laughs> Fantastic. What was deck schedule? The One chuck shouting. Voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Uh, what is that? That time again already? Oh. Well, <laughs> let's get to it. Well, we got that him out of his cabin. Shifty, feckless parasites. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Flee. Grab us that map. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Do we need to... No? It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. Well then take it. What are you doing? If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. I really want this. I don't, I don't, do I need to like pen it? Mm. Oh, so, oh, just swap it out, good call. Uh, the mop tree map? The map's a map. I don't think it'll ah. spot the difference. Good call. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. Nice. All right. Brilliant. In conclusion, shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass. All right. Same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. <laughs> I suppose I could do that on demand, as I like. Alright, how do I we get over to their ship? Looks like it's empty. Check with go it one more time. Let's get our eight minutes. Hey, Gullet. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. <laughs> I could lose a leg or something. Yeah, I'll put well, in a sure word. Pass that along. Yeah, I'll get right on that there, Gullet. Put myself in the can. That's not a bad idea. They just need the skull. Looks like it's empty. Fire in the hole! Alright. Well, if we can't get in there... It better be the sound of you working, Swap. <laughs> yes, a cannon. Bobby. And the sound of someone mopping are identical. Can we just send over Murray? You cool with that, Murray? <laughs> okay, Murray. I just need one more thing. I don't know if this is. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. Ready for cannon firing. Oh, God. I trust this will be accurate. Fantastic. Half expected it to go right in the pot. They don't think anything of it. They're just like, this stuff happens to us all the time. She's underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. Days pass. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. <laughs> grog. <laughs> uh oh. Guy brush. That a good move. What? I did not see that coming. <laughs> I want to savor oh. this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. Oh, I was ready to rhyme with jab. You're as rusty as that butter knife you call a sword. We're both still sharper than you. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all bluster and no luster. Well, you're all a <laughs> custard. Oh, blast. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey, cheating. I won that round. Yeah, we did. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do don't this. Don't punch you me in the face. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one. Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. Pretty good. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more Father like, like a son. mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby. Oh, no. Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's got to be against the rules. It's pretty clever, you really though. really should keep up on the latest trends. <laughs> Hi, Freepwood. Uh-oh. Good thing I can hold my breath for up to eight minutes. Part three, Return to Monkey Island. The namesake of the game. Very exciting. All right. A six-minute walk to Monkey Island. I think I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. More or less. Is it more or is it less? <laughs> what? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes <laughs> you say eight. One time, I heard you say twelve. Don't interrupt me, Which son. Which one is it? Well, my prime, I could do ten minutes. No problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Shut up. <laughs> now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. All right. So we have eight minutes to... Get across to Monkey Island. A six minute walk. Probably less if we run. T two minutes later. <laughs> it's just gonna drop down to five. Yep. Just wanna take all this in here. Since we have time. How lovely. <laughs> Alright. Not that much to show us, I guess. That's actually kinda tricky then because if you you know take your time looking around and everything you could easily cut into your time a bit too much with these two minutes <laughs> all right so we should be there now all right i thought there's gonna be more going on there but that's all right <laughs> at last hello monkey island it's me guybrush did you miss me your secret will be mine <laughs> 10 minutes Tops. I Bruh. just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. All right. A little, little uh, hermit crab there. Uh, this looks like, is this LeChuck and Elaine? Aw, it's a heart with L and E, someone romantically carved into the tree. Should we not uh, look too much deeper into that? Let's ponder it. L and E. I wonder who that is. They must be so in love. They must be so in love. Epiphany about the heart. All right, here it comes. L and E. Wait a minute. That stands for LeChuck and Elaine. Yep, he got there. LeChuck must have carved that years ago when he kidnapped Elaine. That's messed up. Ow! Ow! Something gonna fall if we keep kicking it? Ow! 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 Take that. Not bitter. <laughs> How many clicks or how many kicks do we need to get the not bitter achievement? Ow. Probably four. Ow. LeChuck must have carved oh, that well. years ago when he kidnapped Elaine. <laughs> A little seagull. Murray? Wait, why isn't your head squished anymore? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. <laughs> I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. There you go. Alas, poor Yorick. 
to the jungle. Anything else we got around here? Eh. So calming, the music in this game. The whole vibe is very calming. I like it. Oh, we should look at the map, like they said. That's a good point. Alright, the secret map. Begin your search at the red berry bush. Follow the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wooden chicken. Sneak past the bees and heed the sign. X marks the spot. Okay. Wonder if uh, our friend had any input into this map. X marks the spot. There's the berry bush. What else we got going on? We got the shipwreck. Giant monkey head. He's still... I don't know how we got here first, by the way. Just walking on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> he had a ship with wind and magic. That is gazeworthy. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, here we go from the title screen. Are you Murray? Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this, in case I ever take up skull juggling. For beginners. I guess one would be the minimum, but, you know, still, two can't be that difficult. Magnificent. It is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Did we get another achievement? Just gazing Dazzling. at the sunset Dazzling. or the skyline all night. Splendid. Dazzling. Bored. <laughs> Bored. 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 Does it reset? Bored. And yet somehow it's dazzling again. All right, check out the shipwreck. Another skull. Murray, is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. <laughs> So many uses for these skulls. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Hello, Moon. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. Yeah, but look how happy it made the crab, doing a little dance, practicing its clawing. <laughs> I'm doing great! Just fun little dance. It's nice. Anything else around here? No. Into the jungle we go. Where else could we go? That is gazeworthy. Volcano Beach. This might be where the Chuck makes landfall. Murray? Murray? Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. For no reason. Oh. Needlessly overstate it. Wait, don't go. Wait, what? I don't really mean to go back. It's right there. I don't think we need to. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm just curious. Wonder why he's just chilling up here. Not as eager to discover the secret as we are. Glad that didn't attack us. Okay, so this is nice. Now we have access to the ship whenever we want. I don't know that I want to be on the ship yet, so let's head back down. You never even see him, like, take a big... Murray? Murray? Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh. It's just a soaked skull. I'll, I'll keep, keep it. this for my Skull Club meetup. Uh, hi. I'm sensing pure evil here. More than what's reasonable for an ordinary secret. <laughs> I'm sensing pure evil here. Okay. More than what's reasonable for I'll an ordinary sea creature. Sharks just hanging out. <laughs> we don't give it a second thought. <laughs> All right. Is there anywhere else we haven't been? We haven't been in the giant monkey head yet. A 
It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. I'm sure that doesn't apply to us. Finally, one more Ring? skull. Is that you? This has to be you. Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll oh. keep this for the voodoo lady. As long as he has a purpose for every single skull he's picked up. It's them. Oh. I better just stay back and eavesdrop. Can't you just break the security? Taught you a good at this stuff. Keep talking and you'll find out how good I am. Any place, anywhere, any place. Hmm. Trouble in paradise over here. Let's keep Why eavesdropping. aren't we waiting in the jungle? Because I need to finish setting up the ritual here. You can go ahead if you want to. And leave you two to plan behind me back. Me don't think so. Three. Though truly <gasps> it is I, Murray. Three and Murray. I alone who possess the cunning necessary to achieve victory. You keep out of it or I'm hiding your jawbone again. Oh. How come we have to do this right here? It's the best power spot on the island. Power spot. Place gives me the creeps, and I don't creep easily. In case you were wondering about your reward for uncrushing <laughs> me, you need not worry. When there this we is go. done, and I unleash my terrible wrath upon the world, your heads alone <laughs> will be spared, and you may sit at my feet when all else has been reduced to ashes. Feet. The uh, figure of speech. I thought I told you to stop talking. Huh? I'm happy to recrush ya if you want. Uh, so as not to disrupt Lila's preparations, I shall for the moment remain silent. Silent, but deadly. Uh oh. How does one go about uncrushing a skull, by the way? How much longer are we going to wait for LaChuck? Be patient. How much longer? Oh, all right. That's all the eavesdropping we can do. Just curious if it'll even let me walk over there. We haven't experienced like a game over yet. How much longer? Right. Be patient. All right. At least we finally found Murray. All right. So to the red berry bush. Is the sun coming up? No, it's a bit darker here. All right. So. Pull out our. Well, I'm no phrenologist, but it seems okay. Just some old skull. Just some old skull. Well, I'm no phrenologist, but just some old skull. It's a skull I found. Just some old. It's just. Well, I'm no phrenologist. Oh, I thought each one had it its own. Seems okay. Okay. All right. Red berry bush. Fall the stone monkey hand. Stick to the path by the wood chick and sneak past the bees and heed the sign. All right. Excellent. There's the the big hand. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. <laughs> yeah, let's follow that. Now we had the wooden chicken. <laughs> Fancy old sundial. It's running a little fast. <laughs> As sundials have a tendency of doing. Hold on, I want to look at that chicken. Well, I would have carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. <laughs> I missed the ghost chickens already. <laughs> There's the busy beehive. Ooh, helpful sign. Secret this way. That's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. <laughs> it's not all that hidden. It's like four screens. I do like honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. Yeah, get ours at the store. All right. Oh my goodness, finally the secret of Monkey Island in the third game. Finally. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret <laughs> with. Free shovel. I'll just grab this. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Uh. Oh no. Visions of Space Quest 2. Rog? <laughs> Why all the grog? That's not LeChuck. <laughs> he must be the smart one. Oh, root beer. Okay, there you go. Why 
would you want a LeChuck when you could have a guy brush? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the response right here. I'm a little confused about who you're double crossing. Is it everybody? This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. What? Wait. Uh. <laughs> no torture necessary. What was that you said about LeChuck's secrets? Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? Uh. Oh, yeah, we do know about Flambe's favorite food. How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one all too well. Not Burnt helpful. Alaska. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't stop with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. <laughs> As Password. part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. <laughs> He's here on the island. Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. I don't think LeChuck would do his own digging, by the way. I think he would send one of his cronies in to do it, but... <laughs> Ew. Guy brush. We could search a ship for information while I know how to get back on board. We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. What? Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. I was able. <laughs> That's true. I'm not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship. Still getting checks. Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer, and I won't make I it again. I don't trust you, but In okay. Out. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were trying right, to double cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Yeah. Double cross them before they could double cross me. Triple cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey head if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Okay. <laughs> Gonna put that finger down, guy brush? <laughs> I like how long he committed to that. Um... All right, let's just head back to the ship, pull a George Costanza, and act like we weren't fired. His pompous ship. See how we use our skull collection in this situation. Probably going to need every single last skull. Let's see if our buddy Gullet's still uh, trapped in the rudder. There he is. Drown him down. Just me thoughts. Hello again. I go. Again. I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. All right. Sick. See you later. Don't wait. Don't hold me joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it's it, it's poems, all right. All oh, right, they Zombie mentioned that pirate poems, but but they're not finished. Zombie I've got pirate some poems. Problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry. I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, mostly while I sword fighting. In a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Swarms. I could just read this. Squirms. Uh. Germs, worms, squirms. Squirms. Oh yeah, that could work. We doing right, like then. I also need an structured idea for mad libs that right grows. here. Something that grows. Uh, resentment. Damn, who hurt you, Guybrush? Earwax. I think that fits. <laughs> How about a rhyme for black? 
I was gonna say snack. That was my first thought. Snack. Right. Uh, of course. Very nice. <laughs> of course. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but <laughs> I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up then. If only it were that simple <laughs> to write anything. Well, anything of value, I suppose. Hey, what? what do you Tell want? me stuff about Lachark. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in, after all. It's true. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? No. Whenever he's yelling, I get too distracted counting his teeth to pay attention. Got me in trouble a few times. How did you get stuck on the rudder? I was just doing my job, breaking in a new swab. That's not bad. Lob, fob, gob. That sounds gob, pretty good. Gob could work. Anyway. Let's just say that upper management took exception to my methods. And here I am. Would you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? I've got better things to do than watch that guy eat. <laughs> do you know if LeChuck has a theme song? Does the screaming of his enemies count? <laughs> I doubt it. Then no. He's gonna know this stuff. The new swab you mentioned. Yeah. What was he like? Rising Detail. star? Diamond in the rough? A useless plank. <laughs> I don't think he knows one end of the mop from the other. No also, will go. he come down here, stole a knife I was keeping in my back, and left me stuck. Didn't even try to help. Maybe if you'd been nicer to that swab, he'd have helped you. Not him. Sometimes you can just tell him people. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe you deserve to be left down here because you're a cruel bully with self-esteem issues? No. <laughs> no. All right. Fair enough. Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? What? So you can steal them? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea why I'm even asking. It's not your secrets I'm interested in. Yeah, but... Enjoy your evening. We gotta get You're that poem book somehow. Without, without helping me, when I get out of here, I'm gonna eat what little there is of your brain and use your broken ribs to pick my teeth. Okay. I'm halfway through my oxygen supplies, so... Should ask LeChuck on a date. That's you. all. Uh oh. Uh, hi. Oh. Not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. Oh, no. All right. So we can't get on the ship right now. We can talk to Golet though. So we have to be able to get that book of poems somehow. We can give him something. Maybe we can give him our knife. I hate to part with it. Thinking thoughts I really ought not. <laughs> hey, look. what do you want? <sighs> Enjoy right, your evening. Hold on. Not. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this without using the hint. There you go. You don't want the knife? What else have I got? <sighs> Pirate Times. Editor Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized. There we go. That's very uh, Maniac Mansion, actually. Would you want the business card? There well, you go. I got a friend who edits a paper. He might be interested in your poetry. That, that'd be fantastic. But I'm a little inconvenienced to the like moment. Like three guys who will Stuck publish anything. All that. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, show my work to your editor friend? Hand it over. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> go and, uh, uh, Let's just keep this a secret between us, if you don't mind. <laughs> Mum's the word until they're announced. Splurge on that waterproof paper. I'm still gonna read it right here. Gosh, Gullet, your poems. The only possible word is wow. Oh, uh, thanks very much. Gosh, Gullet, your oh, uh, oh, thanks very much. Okay. So we got the book. I don't think uh, that's gonna help us. Regain passage here. Threepwood, not so sneaky without your magic disguise, <laughs> are you? Okay. All right, so we'll head back to the island now that we got the book of poetry. Is there anything else that I missed over here? We got the skull, obviously. We're gonna get some head bob in there. Use it our skull meeting or something. Let's 
the mighty volcano. Red berry bush we already know about. Maybe they can help me out a bit here. Or we could just fudge it. <laughs> just show hey, him everything. Partner. Everything from the poems and just pretend that that's his favorite everything. Hello. Look what I found. Want to read some of Gullet's poetry? <laughs> Ugh, I'd rather swallow a bucket of live bees. But thanks. Okay. Well, it's worth it. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Yeah, I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after <laughs> all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from Too the easy. Others. Oh, I already found a secret thing from one Too of the Too easy. Crew. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? <laughs> Slimy worms that Riley squirm. Thank you. I can you. see why someone would want to keep this a oh. secret. It's dribble. Come on now. It's perfect. And the co-author, the ghostwriter. Nice nondescript sound effects there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Cool. All right. Slimy worms that Riley squirm. Ideas Please fill my come. head. The poems flow as earwax grows, <laughs> creatively undead. That's enough for now. Okay. I don't want to waste all the magic power. My soul is black. I've had a snack. The stench is growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. <laughs> all right. See ya, partner. Back to the ship we go. Uh-oh. Rated R. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? <laughs> I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And How then I? I was just experimenting. <laughs> That's not important right Even now. on this island that works? Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Body! I don't know, Wally makes one hell of a map if it works on multiple islands. I think we just signed Wally's death warrant. Alright. Let's try Slimy this again. That... Sweet. Got our gullet on. Gullet look. Permission to come aboard? Gullet. I <laughs> thought we'd lost you. <laughs> they don't think anything of his voice. Permission to come on board? <laughs> it'll take more than a bath. Uh, it'll take more than a bath to get rid of old gullet. Old Worth gullet. A try on several levels, though. <laughs> Your voice sounds funny. There you uh, go. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I've almost finished the piece I was working on, and I want to get back to it. It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? It's me, Gullet. Why would you trust me with that? Because you know if you screw it up, I'll stab you again. Yeah, and that might, uh... Might be a bit more impactful this time around. Okay. Hey, Bob. Hey, hey Bob. Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Rob Paulson. Voice of Raphael in the original Turtle series, uh, Mighty Max, and about a thousand other characters over the years. But yeah, love Rob Paulson. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. 
Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. <laughs> I like it. Just his catchphrase, he changes every few minutes. How does it become a catchphrase if that's the case? Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Yeah, I was going to ask her. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea. But he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. Remind me what you said about LeChuck's catchphrase? I said it changes often. Oh, yeah. He was also in the original Monkey Island, Rob Paulson. See ya. All right, let's go check with uh, the cook. Oh, probably don't talk to her. <laughs> You tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Uh... Well, have whatever LeChuck's having. There you LeChuck's go. on the island looking for the big secret. Yeah, but... What will you cook for LeChuck to celebrate finding the secret? Don't tease me by trying to take an interest. <laughs> You've never had the slightest appreciation for my talents. You think I just sling hash? You're the best hash. There you go, chef. You're the best chef I've ever known. Chef? You Aww. called me chef? In all the years you've known me, you've never done that before. Well, you're a chef, I don't know Putra. what happened while you were overboard, but I like this change in you. <laughs> uh, what was it you wanted to know about? And we're in. The Chuck's favorite food. Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Not quite. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Tentacles. Uh, a classic. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? Sorry, I'm all out of the main ingredient. Ah. Where have we seen tentacles? What's that thing the Chuck always says? It's What's sort of his catchphrase. What's the thing You're under a the ship? Cook, Putra. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking more of something he'd use in all kinds of situations. That is very and specific. And I've got no idea. Do you happen to know LeChuck's theme song? I don't know. Flair's the composer. I think she's on deck duty right now. No. Yeah. I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> sure she is. She'll stab me if she sees me away. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Right. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. It is. I don't know. I kind of wish I was part of this crew. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Let's save before she stabs us. In case she stabs us. What are you working on? It's the score for LeChuck's theme. Nothing there we you'd go. be interested in. Get back to your post. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. How's the score coming along? The music's done. I... All right. Probably nothing else in here, but maybe he wrote down his latest catchphrase? What is this book? It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. Well, there you go. Handy. I'm enjoying this new diary that Cutthroat Kelly got me. I'm impressed they bestowed this gift on me, given I was the one that cut their throat. I'm going to write in it every day. You did not write it in every day, LeChuck. 5th of June. What is your most embarrassing guy about story game of charades? Wow, he really does think about us that much. Just crossed the 19th parallel on our way to terrorize Bermuda. Pesky custom ship. La Voodoo Cannonballs. The Grog Mug. Skull Bay. Putra's gonna make mac and cheese. Aww. Attacked and scuttled a mail ship today. <laughs> More memory exercises. Trying out a new catchphrase. Plunder the seven cutlasses. This is much better than my last one. Plunder the seven cutlasses. The new main sail looks too nice. I'm sending a deckhand to rip it, shred it, so that's more of an evil feel. 
new crew keeps asking why I hate Guybrush so much. I can't point to one thing. It's an endless list of little annoying things. I ruined the day when I first went up against him after ruined the wedding to my true love. Huh. New catchphrase, plunder the seven timbers. All right, so this, it really does just keep changing. Fortunately, he writes down every time. He's like, I got a new catchphrase. Forgot to mention, crew threw me a birthday party after went to Skull Bay. I keel hauled them all. Keel needed cleaning anyway. Thinking more about why I hate Guybrush, he seems to think we're nemesis. Nemesis. Mortal enemies locked. I could care less about him. It's like the mosquito thinking we're nemesis. But the mosquito's just annoying insect to be squashed. I don't know, you keep writing about him and talking about him. Iron Rose called my catchphrase tired. By my bristling beard. Every time I like put it in my trap to remember one of these things, it keeps changing. I had a long conversation with Rose as we roasted s'mores over burning bodies on the beach of Terror Island. I love that place. The point of view is that the more I dismiss Guybrush as an irritant, the more obvious that he and I are truly nemesis. Nemesis. Making a list of all the reasons I hate Guybrush. Stupid name. <laughs> Who names their kid Guybrush? thinks he's a mighty pirate when he's neither. Always trying to hunt for the same treasure I am. Still a lane for me. He gets much better press than I do. Only interested in the glamour of piracy. I walk the walk. He just talks. My ship is a lot better than his. Oh, Elaine. Damn, Guybrush. The day will come. The end of thee is foretold. He really does. Yeah, he's still burning for her. Brandish the quivering cutlasses. Eagles. Man, he has written a lot of entries. It's like a year's worth. Thinking of conjuring a permanent storm to keep blessing at bay. Ship is a mess. I'm just doing new required swabby report. That checks out. That's a good question, though, Moon. Like, if he has a better ship, why is that something that he's annoyed with about me? He wants me to have a better ship than him? Tested out new punishment techniques. Whaling hooks were highly effective. We'll need to replace a few crew members. Yeah. Don't let me forget. I've decided to give up terrorizing the seas. When we get to port, I'm going to look into some charity work, dig up my plunder, and pay restitution to my victims. Top my list is apologizing? Wait, what? Is this... Oh, okay. You got me there. Decided to revise my catchphrase to Threepwood's Bane. That's pretty good. Problem with the new catchphrase, hearing Threepwood's name and going back to the one I had on the 17th. This is probably the one. Brandish the Quivering Cutlasses. Brandish the Quivering Cutlasses. And this brings us up to today, basically. Guy rushed to his death. There will be a celebration. Send my condolences to Elaine. That wasn't a doozy. Brandishing. Brandish the quivering cutlasses. All right. Cool. So we need we need some of that squid. There's not any in the hold for any reason, is there? Oh, nice. Oh, they they plugged up the uh, my greased hole right there. <laughs> my greased hole. Um, is there still some feed? I already have some chicken feet. I wonder yep. what it's made out of. All right. Been wanting to hear this again. I wonder what it's made out of. It's just my favorite thing I've decided. Alright. Uh maybe back on what? I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. Hello, scruffles. I thought maybe if I was uh gullet you would be a bit nicer. We should go say hi to Golet as Golet, I realize. Just occurred to me. That'll be a gas. 
unless we take it off before then. But why? Why would you do that? This is going to be good. <laughs> Hi, Gullet. Hi. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Long lost twin. Specter of your doom. Kind of like Long lost twin. I'm your long lost twin. Mullet. <laughs> no. Mullet. Mullet disappeared over 90 years ago. Mullet and we Gullet. We were fraternal twins, not identical. You cannot be Mullet. I'm trying to be more like you. Fraternal twins look more alike as they age. It's a scientific fact. I don't want to look or otherwise be anything like you, mullet. You worthless toad. Even after 90 years, I can't stand the sight of you. <laughs> kind of getting lost for another 90. Uh, okay. Give my best a moment if you see her. Hi. Get yeah, lost, mullet. All right. I kind of wish I could have a redo on that now, but that's still probably the most fun response to that. Alright, so maybe there... Well, there, there's that creature that's underneath the ship. Now, where'd it go? Huh. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe it washed up on shore. There it is. I'm not even a fan of live squid. It looked especially... Wait. Do I just need the uh, tentacles? There you go. I'd rather leave the rest for nature to clean up. Okay. Might as well make this now. So the only thing left is figuring out the... Uh... Slimy worms that Riley squirm. I like that he just does it. Figuring out how to help with the song. Got the tentacle. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with this? Nice That's still. That's a nice one. Have it for you in a jiff. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. Okay. Delicious. I hope it's delicious. All right. What do I got to do? The score coming along. The music's done. I'm just decorating it now. Go back and guard the ship like I told you. Ghost chicken feed? I don't know if there's anything we can offer her here. Swap it out. Trady? Probably don't want to do that right now, but I'm just curious if we totally abandon our disguise. I better not lose the disguise while I'm still on the ship. One of these skulls? Inspirational. Crackers. Want my knife to replace? I already gave you your knife. Don't need a hint. We can figure this out. We need to get that book somehow. Let's go talk to Flambe. Ah! Flambe. I want to wake him up. Maybe fire the cannon. Oh, never mind. Yeah, cannons. Out of order. The bell, that might wake him up. One bell! Voting hour! Well, it brings everyone up here. What's going on? I don't like being interrupted. Ah. I don't know. Someone rang the bell. Did okay. she leave for... <laughs> Someone rang the bell. Did she leave... Yes! It's the theme music Flair was working on. Here we go. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Let's see it. Do, do, mi, sol, fa, fa, re. Okay. Do, do, mi, sol, fa, fa, re. She'll probably take that back, so we had to snack a peek at that. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. I've got work to do. 
Waste of time. Hope my soup didn't burn. Let's get out of here. Run like hell, guy brush. Okay. So she's probably pissed. No matter. Back to the giant monkey head we go. I think we got everything. Hey, partner. Sweetwood, I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. <laughs> Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. Anything else? How to was talk your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of <laughs> glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. <laughs> Whoever he is. Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They've promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. Yeah, about that double How cross. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the? How did you know about that? Who have you been talking to? I've got my eye on you, Threepwood. Uh -oh. uh, so to speak. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? Fair I quest. know an easy way you can find out. Now, <laughs> stop bothering me. Like when Flambe offered to set my head on fire. All right. I think we got this. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Sure have. I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Oh, I get to play it. Nice. Watch who you're calling an instrument. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, take a quick peek one more time. I might write this down, actually. So we got do, do, me, salt, fa, fa, right. puzzle over the arm bone. All right, we're going a little King's Quest 6 right here. Could be a humorous, or maybe the ulna. It's hard to tell without some deep forensic analysis. Well, me, I just like to play skull with it. Conk Murray. Uh, ouch! Hey! Wait. Oh, uh, uh, do I need to, like, move him around? You make a lovely sound when struck with a bone. Don't try to justify your abuse, you callous clod. Your day is coming. All right, I need to. You make a lovely sound when. Don't try. Oh, I need to put the other skulls on. Here we go. <laughs> Impale the skull. Here we go. Now we have the full. And we can only assume that. We got dough right here. Just enough. All right. Do, re, mi, fa. So we got do. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get my bone back out. Huh. So they all make their own different sound. So that's do. Oh, no. B. 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 Okay, so B. It'll be two, two, seven. Who was Saul? Were you Saul? They were La. Just literally says right there. All right, 
Anyway. Promising. That is good. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Laboris nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say Lechuk's catchphrase. Brandish. The quivering. quivering. Uh, is it timbers in the end? Timbers. Quis atem vel veleptate vel eat. Now, eat Lechuk's favorite food. Do I have, do have, to? I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Oof. Okay. Ew. Well? Nothing is happening. You must have screwed something up, Guybrush. Get yeah. it right next time. Come Kay. back when you know the right answers. Guess it was cutlasses. Brandish the quivering cutlasses. All right. We're ready on our end. Have you learned, LeChuck? I know all of the- Okay, the first step- Hopefully we'll have enough enough squid That's left promising. over. Next step, Madison. Let's have the map. Quis labor. Quick, say the Brandish the quivering cutlasses. Quis atem vel veleptate vel eat. Now eat Lechuk's favorite food. Okay. This time. <gasps> wow. Look, there are lines on it. It's working. The secret. This dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. <laughs> Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. About that triple cross, Guybrush. Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? I agree. <laughs> Let's take a vote on kicking me off the cliff. We've gotten very democratic recently. Uh, I don't know that that one's gonna work. <laughs> Just want this. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Noted. No. All right. So much for Star Wars. And now, good riddance to Murray. The annoying demonic oh, skull. Double crossing Murray too. Wait, I have a family. Oh. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Ah. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. Get Murray going all abu on us. On them, at it least. came from over here somewhere. How? What the? 
Reapwood? <laughs> so, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. Classic I three always wood. knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. What is the and secret? Then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> Desperate need of yeah, that's right. Gurk. I didn't quite <laughs> catch that, but no that's matter. my catchphrase. Your last words will be forgotten, along with Gurk. you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck. What are you gonna do with that? Your nemesis. Says, uh, she and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> can I come? Right. Why did I have... I, just, I thought maybe we would team up after reading his diary. <laughs> Zooming in. I think my pancreas is broken. <laughs> Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh. oh no! Are you okay? No! Depends on your definition <laughs> of okay. Let's start with likely to survive the next two minutes. Uh, I suppose I can manage that if I have to. Oh, I'm afraid I insist. What are you oh. doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. <laughs> it's so cute. But let's get not get sidetracked. What? You've fallen off a cliff. <laughs> the last few months have been a waste. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Some healthy wallowing. Maybe humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. <laughs> I got thrown off a ship. They changed the rules between games. On the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? <laughs> Bugs well Bunny just cartoon. Lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. Scurvy Island. If you want, I'm trying to, uh, you know, it's still late. Yeah, if you want. Well, don't act too excited now. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? <gasps> Hello? Murray! You hairy little thief. Or is that Aladdin? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Nice. Holy You're the best, Murray. Cow. The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island. What? Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? I didn't have the map then. Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your <gasps> old ship, I mean. The, the sea, sea monkey. monkey. is wrecked on a beach just east of here. Wait, wreck? Wreck is the sea monkey? I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise Aww. for your birthday. You're the what best. a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? That'd be cool. You could do the goopy parts. <laughs> Dibs on the good hammer. Dibs on the good hammer. Race you to the ship. <laughs> cool. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. <laughs> it's like it was written just for me. I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. Sweet. In my pants, on, Murray. Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, not the pocket. All right. Slowpoke. You had a head start. I had to pick up Murray in the book. 
All right. <laughs> Is it as simple as just clicking on the book? Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Do we need tools or anything? <laughs> just like that. There you go. <laughs> Had to get that game out, I understand. Well, we did what we oh, could. What with happened to the little crab, though? Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, <laughs> you steer, <laughs> I'll bail. Well. Sea monkey's barely seaworthy. Part four, things get complicated. Matthew. <laughs> Just hemorrhaging pieces of the ship. Huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo show? Oh, I thought it was just sinking. I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right, yeah. See you soon. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. <laughs> oh. All right. Fresh save going here. Oh, the cook. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. <laughs> you ever finish that meal for that guy? I hear patio dining is all the rage these days. You could <laughs> think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. Yeah. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. <laughs> Thanks. I'll do that. Sitting on water. You should probably put out the rest of... Thanks. How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. It's like, Not Grog's still good. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> Grog still tastes good. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Touche, random pirate. All right. Oh, uh, we're going to find out. How did we beat anyone back to Melee Island with that garbage ship? Oh, uh, they're fighting. You know what? You do that. Have fun. Blow your ho now, holes man. out. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ah! Aww. Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! Just love how many shots they're firing at each other <laughs> without any real consequence. Oh no, ghost chicken! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up. I like that I just got up and walked away. From his leg. Didn't even need Animals any special care. Already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Quadruple crossing. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Obviously. Oh no, they're out of business now, but hopefully she's still in. All right. It's been 32 years, but we're finally going to find out the secret of Monkey Island. Am I too late? After we go see Wally now. I'm just kidding. Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Ah, it's in the chest. 
Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in the there. Safe. It just has to be. I tried to open that earlier. You've had it all this time. I possess little and much. What? To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Uh, can't you? Yeah, where's the where's secret? Where's the secret? It is inside the large safe near the front door, <laughs> of course. Hopefully locksmith is still in. Maybe I can just take a look at the, uh... Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. What? Uh, but there is one I'm close your best buyer customer. who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will locksmith. find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Oh. Okay. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone Someone else. else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Huh. Who owns the safe? Alas. There are Ah. forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract signed in blood with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. (laughs) No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound yeah. by an agreement. Hide behind your legal mumbo jumbo. Have the trucker Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes yeah. it's better to have two enemies than huh. one. Well you said. You should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. All right. Uh, I hate to leave it here, but I can't take the safe with me, and I need to find keys to open it. All right. So, locksmith is right outside, right? Ah! You found the oh, secret. That lady. You are a spark among fallen leaves. I didn't really find the secret. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am widening bones. Whitey. Whitey. Like you? The hunt for the secret consumes me. How long like have you been you, looking? I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. <laughs> Probably this one. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint. But they look nice. <laughs> They're really nice looking. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all what, this down on my to-do What list. Chuck was talking about, both those so spots. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Hellfish or whatever, that Simpsons episode where Grandpa Simpson and the old uh, members of his unit had the keys. They each had a key to that. Nazi gold or whatever it was. Anyway. Can I borrow the key you have just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. That's fair. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh Uh-huh. How come I never heard about any of this before? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. You'd think. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. Mm. 
You seem more that lucid way. than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. <laughs> we all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. Guybrush is like, mm, maybe I'll come talk to you on one of your bad days and get the key from this you. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. Wisest things she's said. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. A curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. <laughs> Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, picking her nose, sure. boy brush. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Is Wally still alive? I guess if we beat LeChuck here, Wally should still be alive. He doesn't know that he's coming to uh, mess him up. What's our objective list look like? All right, fine. Get Whitey's key, Old Mrs. Smith's key, Bella Fisher's, Bermuda, Terror Island. Man, this is gonna be a big chapter right here. Get a map of the sea and relive the glory days. I feel like we're gonna be very underwhelmed when you finally find out what the secret is, but hopefully not. Wally. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to uh, the bone. It is cold. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. We don't need a... We don't have a apology frog for him, but... He doesn't seem to be too upset about it. He's still giving us stuff. Hey, Wally. What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. Nice loophole. Why didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across <laughs> the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Yeah. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. Heard that. Busy? Yep. Well, good luck uh, dealing with LeChuck when he comes by. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? Got a map. Are you sure I can't borrow your golden key? How many keys you got yourself, boy? Uh, none. Come back when you've got more than I got. All right. Maybe two we can keys. Talk. Get her a key. Did you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. Remind me again what you know. Well, oh, Mrs. There's the one Bella Fisher. One so Bottom of the ocean. Up. All right. Hopefully our ship is seaworthy enough to get to Bermuda and Terror Island. You spend a lot of time looking out your window. Watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. A lot of fish, but no boat. Hmm. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. It's a fish shop. This wasn't open before. Welcome to the God's Wallop. God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the Thanks. freshest fish on the block. And the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. 
didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, oh, yeah. I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. Sounds like old Chuck's voice. How come How you're come tired? retired from pirate leadering? Well, now, sometimes retirement is not so much a choice as a thing that settles upon you. Like being becalmed at sea. But it's allowed us to open this place and pursue our passion for fishing. That's so nice. perhaps less like a calm and more like a strong wind blowing in a particular direction. Have a look around, why don't you? What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. <gasps> Tis one of the Bella signature Fisher. flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? There we That's go. That's what I said, yes. That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. <laughs> Aye, stories about fish. Enthralling. I just notice all these fish. <laughs> Giant eyes. Can I join the chums? Join up. Well... I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed you, by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, <laughs> make it a whale. It'll be better. I can't <laughs> argue with that. Take this fishing lure. <gasps> Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Oh, yeah. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. <laughs> what are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Lump Easy suckers. to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Oh, Multi-purpose. I'd like to buy some lump suckers. Cute little fellas, aren't they? Here's a box full. Should be plenty. Good thing I brought enough cash for incidentals. For you. Sure. Mm. Thanks. A new box. <gasps> what can you tell me about Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. I she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. W what? Good at fishing. Yeah. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More Ooh. bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now. That's where really the she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though it is rumored that she left clues as to its whereabouts. Fish for some other ones? Is that how it goes? We're gonna have to like swap these out. It's like the trading and the pawn shop guy in King's Quest 6. Ah, the painter's brush. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't mm. think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. Doesn't hurt. Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought that. I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. Mm. The secret? What a prize. I know. They <laughs> say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. Maybe it's like, maybe it's a ship. Remind me how I'm supposed to find other chums. They'll have fish in loop. Possibly war or other one. And then you got it. Okay. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Talk to the grizzly gentleman at the count. Yeah, it's my shift. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, different types of fish. Oh, little goldfish. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. 
Hmm. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find... Alright. Let's head back to the scum bar. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. I need to, like, show you. Greetings, fellow chum. Yep, there it is, on their hat. Greetings, hats. fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Sold by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people like... are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like... I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, right. you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. I like it. Let's see if we can't find. Oh, the cookbook! You saved the cookbook! Can I get this yes, back to the I governor? I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on Itchy fire, job. people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. <laughs> Cool. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take like, it. Well, the guy was looking for is dead now, no so. I hope to repair it. This is all I have left. jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's only slightly singed. Carla might not even notice. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks. Yeah, I'll with do your that. tears. <laughs> what are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palates. Oh, sounds exotic. <laughs> Not done with my drink. Hey, what? I'll pound some of that. That was refreshing. Nice. Okay, she didn't seem to mind that. All right. Hello. So we met one of your kind. Uh, Can I trade in my fish for some I other know ones? that I need to trade. Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? I got the lump sucker here. I don't know, toadfish. toadfish? I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Burp. Mm. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Is that guy wearing one? Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. I presume you want to tell a story. But I can also tell just by looking at you yeah, right. that you're not ready for the likes of us. the first two lines. Go out and find more chums to it. All right. Blowfish. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're right. excellent for burping contests. Burping contests. Care to join us? I just Don't burped. if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. All right. <laughs> Poor Blowfish's life is hell. The dirty pirates breathing into it. Alright, so we drank... After we drank the uh, avocado ale. Narp. <laughs> Hi, well done. <laughs> I hereby declare this a draw. Draw. Does that mean I, I get it? Do I need a refill on that? All right, hold on. Might need one more. Not 
not done with my drink. Oh well. Be faster. Hello. Alright, let's see. Hey, how about a burpee? Oh, winner keep. I don't know when I meant to drink, probably right before I did that. I guess you just gotta drink it before you get the uh I well There we go. Before you get the number of Now the trophy. Hey, how about at a me. burping cup? Ho oh, oh, winner key. <sighs> this should be good. Let's find another gear. <laughs> Fun. I that was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. The blowfish is yours. Sweet. Welcome back. Hi. What else we got? I just like start showing this to random people. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to I share? One too. I got the colors. Or th oh, there it is. Yep. All right. I was up in the I crow's was up in nest. I crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key <laughs> point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to married know how killed. things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay. All right. I was up in the crow's nest. With, and then, all it's like, of a I'm sudden, going on a picnic and I'm taking. My ship was. And then. Morgan Knox sold me to my enemies. I got stuck to beat his mouth and caught it from the inside. That's pretty cool. Like that. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've nice. got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Hello again. You know anything about the uh, your gold? Mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith. Whitey Bones said something about an old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did, mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? I see sure. a poster up there. My mother had one of them. What? She left it to me in her will. You have it? I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this what? is an unexpected wrinkle. That's not good. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Uh, can we get a copy of it? I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Are those the golden keys? That's right. Years ago, my mother used to hunt for them. Man, everybody was obsessed with them. You will be mine. <laughs> Fantasize keys. about having all the golden keys. Probate Order 1673832, pursuant to Statute E, Section C, Subsection I. S. Might need to go see the governor order of about the court, this. The following unclaimed personal effects have been destroyed. Golden key, fancy box. Looks official. It's got a wax seal of a parrot on it. Hmm. All right. Well, our story's coming along. I feel like we have more people to check in with. Hey, Are there any uh, chum folk here? 
Stan, are you? Wait a minute, Otis. What? They caught you? Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was free. I mean, you escaped from jail last time. You did that. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing <laughs> himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. I guess we'll see him there. Where did you say Stan is? They took him to Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing. I was just standing there minding my own business. And they caught you for breaking out of... for earthquake relief. <laughs> did you know you're only allowed to do that once? <laughs> there is no justice. Pretty good. Are you worried the rest of the building okay then? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. Huh. Let's visit again soon. I have your people call my people. Are you a, uh... You one of the chum? I don't see a chum's lore anywhere. <laughs> Not a member of the chums. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. So much for that. All right, so Otis, her uh, Stan is on Bermuda. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the hey, windows need some work. What's going on here? <laughs> Just wait in line automatically. I wonder what they're waiting for. Can I talk to anybody? I wonder what they're waiting for. I wonder what they're waiting for. Talk with the lookout. Oh, that guy. For? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Sounds like Rob Paulson. Cut. Get cut. Yeah. I guess he was always. Well, who's manning the lookout if you're here in line? You want to do it? Feel free. How long do you plan to wait here? As long as it takes. How long do you plan to wait here? As long as it takes. I'm not waiting in line. Hey. Uh, okay. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. They have an interesting relationship. The Sea Monkey 2 is almost as nice, and it's a lot bigger. Poke it. Wait, I just wanted to... Uh. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But Sad. there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. Uh oh. Basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster <laughs> relief? I already told Look you at my there's ship. no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so what's it for? Yeah, my ship. There you go. Melee amusement park. Yeah, my ship suffered some damage. It needs a keel overhaul. Sounds dubious, but I've heard worse. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. Sweet. You wouldn't know anything about this. Do you know anything about probate orders? Probate? That's judicial branch. I'm uh, executive branch. That's handy. I guess there's something else to talk about right now. We need to get to Bermuda. Multiple reasons. Can, can I, I get, get any more? Any more disaster relief IOUs? It's one to a customer. Yeah, you get thrown if in jail. Want, I can revise the IOU I gave you to apply to a different project, but that's as far as I can go. What's the difference, though? I guess I'll find someone else who needs it later, but... Eh, never mind. Uh, Let's get back to the sea, monkey. Alright. And we have some options. We got Scurvy Island, Terror Island, and a Drift Ship. Is that... There's Bermuda. Oh, there we go. Bermuda's up there. Bare Bones Island. Wow. Lots of options. Let's see Elaine right quick. 
Meanwhile... Yeah, good luck with that, Lucio. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. <laughs> I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? Can't I open it. I don't think so. Stop it. <sighs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild yeah, boar just like by when you were now. sure my body was torn. The knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. Oh no, Wally. I'm maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Poor Wally. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It's nice, uh... It's a nice thing to do. Finish that thought. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Gee. Is, is it real? It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet plumed point and snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. Very impressive. Wow, there's a lot going on here. The lighthouse, the lime grove. That's where she'll be. Elaine? Are you decent? Hello? Where is she? she said she was coming here. Wow, quite the office. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Uh... I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. Mappy. I'd love to get a new uh, picture of us. Hi, I'm working due east of the lighthouse and due south of the lake today. Oh, okay. It obviously means something to Elaine, too. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. Now, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. Yes. Is there a rift between us that I don't even know about? Wow, Elaine sure has been busy. bird has a torn picture in its nest. Is that a picture oh. of me? Oh, okay. It just got ripped. <laughs> no way. I don't want to lose my hand. Alright, so she didn't crop us out of the picture. No way. I don't want to lose my hand. Alright, it's obviously very important to it. Would you like this note instead, little bird? i trade you. Probably shouldn't give up my IOU. The other lime groves. These groves go on forever. Wow, they all have their own little screen, don't they? Insane. Where do I find the mint groves? I do still have some. It's ghost chicken feed. It's you not want... a ghost chicken. It's a seagull. <laughs> Very specific response, though. I appreciate that. Oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Which one Hi, was she I'm at? I'm working due east of the lighthouse and due south of the lake today. So, about right there. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. Let's try right here. Hi. Hi. Found you. 
use the knife and then give it the ghost speed. That's dark. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see. But people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict. But as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. <laughs> I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Sure. Just, I need a small one to fit all the information on. The one that drives everyone insane. What about insane. adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People Ooh. not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. Huh? What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem. We need and Stan. Of us is an expert in either of those things. Stan. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. You're a chum? Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm She's glad. Take Maybe an interest. a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Off the secret? Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. All right. I was, I was in a crow's, in crow's nest, nest with Flambe. All of a sudden, I get swallowed by a whale. Was... And then caught it we from the inside. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? All right, hold People on. want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Yes, let's try it. Okay. Adding to this yarn. It had just broken through a blockade. Uh, oh, I was up in a cr and then I have to go through this whole thing. The ship was swamped. Guy, I already, already inside. I thought I wanted to see his girlfriend as gross inside. I guess it was gross inside. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. And then, uh... Wait, an extra line? What's going on? I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. I think you've got it. Well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. All right, so I can head back, I guess. We've mastered the art of the yarn spinning. Can I have a lime? Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Why was I picture? Yeah. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. That it checks flew away out. with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. I found it. You said a seagull carried away my half of the picture of us? It flew into the lime groves. So far, I haven't found it. Sorry. I know where it is, but... I'll go find a marketing expert now. I'll be right here when you get back. Okay. Probably nothing else we can do with this bird right now. Give me the picture. Ah! Okay. Oh, I don't want to lose my hand. You want a lime? Seagull? No. You want, you probably want blowfish. Or you want toadfish? Hold on, hold on. I don't want to give away my fish needlessly. You 
go. Can I have the picture now? Do I have to give it one of every type of fish? Oh, I still have some. Do you need more to fish? Like fish? No way. What if I toss it somewhere farther away? To make it have to go. Alright, well, whatever. I'm going to Bermuda. I don't have time for this. Halt! I see the if, judge. If that's what you can call that, so I made sad. Made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Nice. Here, look, I have limes. See? Proceed north, you'll have I'm to fill stamp. out a customs declaration form. What? Name? <laughs> sure, Elaine Marley. Uh, I mean, that might have some more pull to it, honestly. Mr. Elaine Marley, fill this out and be completely honest. Oh my god, are you a pirate? Are they down with pirates? Might not be a good idea. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Uh, an egg. Does it matter? It's really Marley. All right. Let's see how you've done. You so forgot to paperwork. check that you're carrying lives. I'll check that for you. Oh, nice. Hmm. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. <laughs> Not checking that was smart. Okay. This looks... Important. I did it right? You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. That's fantastic. I wanted to ask him about the... Uh... Oh, well. It does look cold. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. It says Courthouse of Oh, here we Buda. go. That works. Oh, let's pass this guy. He's look like uh, out of uh, Rogue Legacy a little bit. Now there's someone I've got to meet. Hold on. I submit these official looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Yes! Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have yes. no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Our first order, key. Order in the court. That the guy's got one on his. Will not be tolerated. <laughs> guy's got one on his head. Can I approach order. the bed? Order, order in the court. I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Uh. There must be some mistake here. I'm looking order, for Stan. Order in the court. Quiet on the gallery. Rabble, rabble. Or there will be arrests. Uh. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes, <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order, oh. order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. <laughs> Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud <laughs> and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. 
I hope that's not the case. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Wait, is he wearing pants? May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach court is... Your Fair Honor, question. are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order. <laughs> order in the court! If I don't like get order, that thing. I am going to clear the court! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Heard that is that. all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Alright. Well, that didn't get us anywhere with Stan. Where is he? Bermuda. Ice castle, that's promising. Ice quarry, this is where he is. Oh, look, he's a, uh... This is how we'll win him over. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? <laughs> like, I mean, let's be honest, right? Best policy. I'd like to break one of the prisoners out. Oh, we have rules about that. Escapes are not allowed. You could forfeit visitation rights with your friend or family member. Visitation rights? Yes. So be careful. All right. I know how to get to this guy. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One that's gonna get me inside. All right. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout. Hear the full Flambe, story. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. <laughs> By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't okay. tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly mm. the point. Want to give it a try? Thought we were done. Okay. All right. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping chum line, breaker, line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft I think he always says it with the same inflection. It was gross inside. I lit the hull on fire with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater. There we go. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beast's Chum mouth speak. and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to. There's a crazy old yardarm hanger, Bob something. I think he sails with Captain LeChuck. Apple Bob. Apple Sounds Bob. Sounds right. Thanks. All right. So we got to talk to Apple I'd Bob. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something uh. that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my <laughs> boss that I did my job. <laughs> I don't have anything from Stan. Uh, that's... Uh, yeah, I don't. I 
I just pay you off? Wink, wink. Well... Do not approach the gate, please, sir. Yeah, I don't have anything. Stan related. What's up, Dad? Maybe the king. Nice view. Can help us with this. Boring. How long until? Oh wow. How high up are we going here? Oh my goodness. Sweet. Roaring fire, melting ice. Very hoogly. Cool. Welcome, oh, loyal subject. She's got a key. I'm sorry. Queen, not king. Purple book. Looks like the one that, uh, At Locksmith the end of has. The My only copy. Please don't touch it. It's slowly filling up with castle. Castle. Ah. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire, or it'd be freezing. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer nice. will not light underwater. Matches. Permudian. I'm new in I'm town. New in town. Grunt. Grant what? Nice weather we're having. Grunt. I see. What? I'll be able better luck with you. Bermuda seems like a friendly place. Erg. Yeah, I feel you. Erg grunt. 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 Uh, uh yes or no. Erg. Grunt. Grunt. Erg. Grunt. Erg. All right, can I just talk to the <laughs> queen? Interesting. Your queenliness. Your queenliness? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three point, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Oh, nice. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? <laughs> Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? I need that key. Is that one of the golden keys on your head? Welded to my crown. That's correct. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. Ooh. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. There you go. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy ah, pirates put their on, paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Well, become that's going to be a tough key to get. Interesting. Hmm. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of I have of an Ur idea. Muda? You have to earn it. Win it. Rest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. Just notice the, the parrot. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Just like becoming a pirate. That's right. Put it in our Three terms. trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. <laughs> uh, hardiness. I challenge you to the contest of hardiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. 
I like how uh, obliging she is. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. Huh. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Are we trying to out-eat one another? Yes, me. Another challenge. Time to take a vote. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, <laughs> it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently oh. consume more raw fish than oh. your opponent. Today's challenge fish is hagfish. hagfish. Don't I have one in my... I think I have one of those in my inventory right now. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without Hold fish. Hold up. Everyone go home. Hold up. Guybrush has got you cut. Oh, okay. But I brought. Oh, it's toadfish. Never mind. Man, I'm not even a chum. Look at me. It's a nice little tavern, though, here. Run. <laughs> How long before I say I slept with your wife or something? Pops me in the mouth. They're all having a good time. It's the soon to be former queen. Think you're gonna overtake the queen, Guybrush? No, let's check out the back room. Well, which. Contest is this. Ooh, a challenge. Eventually, I'd be like, oh, come on. Ladies She's up for and it, gentlemen, though. for your viewing pleasure, we present for only the 11th time this week. What if it's going to be 12 next time I do this? Seriousness. Seriousness. Yay! 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 On this Woo! side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. Forward all my mail come to, order the to the sea monkey. Will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Oh. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Let's see. Swabby and a mop. Oh, didn't we hear What's this? What's the difference between a swabby and a mop? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. Hmm. See ya. Okay. Gotta tell her the ultimate joke about the, the farmer's daughter and the vampire. That's the contest of hardiness. We had the contest of seriousness. <laughs> Ask me about Loom. Yeah, well, I know, Matthew, Matthew. We need you for this one. Mr. Marley slash Threepwood to the contest of intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are Ooh. to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. <laughs> 20 seconds. Time starts now. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. Please show it to us. No funny business, Buster. <laughs> no copying. <sighs> Probably gotta give her something. Limes? Time's up. I'll take your papers. We got a ways to go here. At least we know what we need. Mm -hmm. Vaguely. No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has written the words correct <laughs> answer. Queen Odina is the Do I get credit winner. for that? Better ah. luck next time. 
Just grab the key and run at this point. It's amazing they stay lit in this weather. A bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. All right, so clearly we need the different uh, fish. Sag fish, I think it was. We could also check in with these guys now and be like, hey, hey I could spin quite a yarn. Can I trade in my fish for some other? Always happy. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. I think it was hagfish. Hagfish. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Sweet. All right. Hopefully I can eat more. Just because you have the fish doesn't mean you're going to beat her. But given that it's so easy and quick to get over there. Oh, is uh, Wally alive still? <laughs> oh Wally? no! What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Where's Wally? Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? Never I cross the Chuck. He's probably not okay. Did you leave anything behind? This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Algebra. Yeah. That's pretty good. That'd make her laugh. Made me chuckle. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. Well, we can take it then, right? These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Didn't really know him that well. could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obviously. Obviously. He really hates those cans. Alright, back to the ship. Back to Bermuda. <laughs> Maps, etc. Plus. Oh, oh, town center. Hopefully the fish is still the hagfish today. Contest of hardiness. Do I need to pull out the fish? Here we go. Put the fish in the bucket. <laughs> Today's contest of hardiness will feature hagfish. There you go. Right, that works out. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> and in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood, aka Mr. Elaine Marley. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. There we go. Ah. Ooh. Please place your fish on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I just want this to go on and on. It's filled with hagfish. Please place your fish on the plate. Yeah. And now, let This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. <laughs> All right, found a guy brush. Oh, it feels like it's wiggling in my throat. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, the winner and still champion, Queen Odina. <laughs> so much for that. You know, we're gonna have to do something fancy. Seriousness. What's in there? I 
can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. Definitely something going on here. It's an empty bucket. I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. Where's the, uh, my matches? Light I need fire. something to burn first. Got the logs. Did not get any logs? Alright. Go get some logs. We're piecing this together. Let's go straight to the, oh God. There we go. Get the shortcut there. It's nicely dried, pre- I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky. All right, there we go. Place is quick enough getting around. loud about every 15 seconds like my uncle Ernie so that's starting to spill into there I don't know if this changed or anything it's much nicer for having a to contest work on the problem peek at her swap it Oh, she's looking away from the <laughs> Time's up. I'll take your papers. That's why I worked that time. Mm. We won! Hmm? <laughs> He's like, what? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence Fantastic. is clear. Mr. Threefoot is the winner. But how is it that how is loud? That possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. <laughs> I can. Pretty fantastic. Better luck next time. All right. One contest down, yeah. two to go. So the fish eating contest still isn't happening. We need to find something else for that. There's nothing else going on in here, so we're going to need to... It's carved out of wood, but it's very lifelike. We need to figure something else out to make her laugh. At least we're smarter than her, as far as everyone thinks. Alright, what was... Alright, that was this guy. Never mind. Alright, um... dock with LeChuck's ship, but we just saved. To be honest, the Sea Monkey 2 feels a little less mighty next <laughs> to LeChuck's triple-wide barge. No vessel can be outdone which bears my dread visage as its masthead. Not even your leaky tongue. Thanks for the pep talk, Murray. I dispense no pep, only terrible truths. Alright, do I need to put my disguise back on? I think it's out of juice. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe I can just go uh, hello. on. Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready Gotta to talk to kick Apple me Bob. Into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope, unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more right. focused on the staying alive profession right now. Thanks. So far, so good. Hey, Apple Bob. So, um, obviously, I'm actually Guybrush Threewood. There's Pleased his uh, you chump pin. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? I like yeah. Apple Bob. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? 
uh, one. <laughs> Math's not my best subject. Either Terrible. way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. Oh. I've got better things to worry about. Also, nice. I enjoyed the book you brought me. Are you finished with the joke book yet? Right. Emotionally, yes. We need it's it. It's not that long, and I've read it 16 times already. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Where is everybody? Flambe's up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. I think that's right. <laughs> Remind me why Flambe oh. still has a job. He doesn't do anything. Hey, he's, he's still a part of our around, stories. have to fix things below the waterline at night. Uh, don't tell LeChuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. <laughs> Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Still not funny. All right. Greetings, fellow chum. Read we. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story <laughs> to share? I think I've got the perfect story. I was bait casting dead stick from I'd a be like, you never hung out with Flambe. Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge... All right. It was gross inside. <laughs> it was gross inside. I lit the hull on... Then we stuck an umbrella we go. head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. Ah. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish glistening like liquid silver. Dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh no, oh, are we? That does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Are we gonna overwrite my? It was gross inside line. Okay. I was bait casting, and then all of a sudden, swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale's eyes like destiny. Skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Very good. Inside it was like. Inside it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Then we stuck an umbrella. Dazzling. You weave a story. Like a go. wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. All right, I guess we're ready. Come full circle, back to the Cod's Wallop. But come on, that was a good story. Can I have the book? Are you sure I can't have the joke book back? Uh, it's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. All right. Hang in there, Bob. Well, Still not funny. We'll have to get the cookbook back somehow, and then I don't know if we'll have to take it back to the governor and get a different book, or if he just might want the cookbook. I don't know. But anyway, we can head back to the fish shop. I guess it's on. Yeah, here it is. Hello. Hello. All right, gentlemen. How's it going, How's it going chums? chums? You have the confident look of a man with a story in his belly, just squirming to get out. But you really should show us the lure for official chums business. Oh, you're right. I'm we sorry. like ritual in the chums. It's part of the fun. Okay. I'm sorry. Ooh. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? <gasps> And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. <laughs> that Even though is. that's just what it is. All right. 
I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden... He certainly had time to master it. My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. So be greeting people. Hello, chum. Inside, it was like walking on Hello, chum. Machines, with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. Mm. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby <laughs> declare you to be a chum grandmaster. Grand CGM. Congratulations. Brilliant. Wow. Thank you. That's a great honor. <gasps> Do I get anything for that? Do I, did you Can unlock I some crazy fish? fish? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Can I get the goldfish Am now? I... Oh, I Isn't should be able right to take, if I take this flag with me. That would be within your rights as a well-respected nice. chum of the highest order. Sweet. Seriously? Grab your snacks. Might I suggest a refreshing? Oh, okay. Whiz fizz. I was Be gonna say. Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. It's true. Should I like refill my? Uh... Can I treat it? Always. Today we've new box of hagfish. New box of hagfish. I'll put it on your tab. I like the way these Thanks. ones are looking at me. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First, he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing <laughs> us to sing musical notes against our Aww. will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. <laughs> right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Oh, no. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Let's see if we can get the cookbook back. Now that we have new information. Nothing that he cares about, mind you, but... Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it! With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left! But I can give you... A flyer? I owe you? What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds to overhaul okay. the keel there of my you go. ship? I'm not sure why my hard-earned taxes should go to <laughs> fixing your keel. <laughs> Wait a minute. There were options for the IOU. Hold on. Probably not the fastest way to get there, but whatever. All right. I think it's a chandelier. I'm going to say, this doesn't do me any good anyway, considering he's still How waiting. How long do you plan to wait here? As long as it takes. All right, Rob. Ah, just walk right in. You won't give me a book, will you? Big book of treasure maps. End of the plank. Can I borrow this book? One book at a time. I yep. only trust you so far. Okay, let's see. You said I could trade it out. Can I get this applied to a different project? Fine, fine. What do you want? Uh, I want local to business. Local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. I just want the cook support. Here you go. Cool. 
the sea monkey too is I don't want to actually get on the ship. I just want to, you know, go to the docks. Yeah, I guess it was there. All right, buddy. Look what I got for you. What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? Try to ignore the unspecified future That's date. fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Recycling. All right, give me okay, the book. if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. All right, so he probably doesn't want the cookbook. Want something more interesting. Let's see what the options are. Here, yeah. Thank you. Barbie Lafay. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the <laughs> recipe. Oh, Not well. me. I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Suggest that there's like multiple things. Let me ship to ship combat strategies by stupid Captain Madison. Voodoo tricks you can do at home. The Endless Tale of the Voyage That Would Not End. Treasure Maps. Oh, there's the Autobiography of John Laney. And the Ingredients Book. And then End of the Plank. Um. That sounds interesting. But the Endless Tale. This might be good because he, he'll never finish it. <laughs> he said he read through the joke book 16 times. Can I Let's try this book? one. Fine, fine. Thanks. But we'll have I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Get a nice save state, though, just in case. This is not the one we want, so we can come back here quickly. Stan's building Could have gotten... collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. All right, let's see if we can find something to give. Picture. There we go. There's a torn picture Someone in Someone mentioned picture This half earlier. shows Stan himself. All right, so we have Stan in the picture. Oh, no. I want to <laughs> fake out a picture of me and Stan hanging out. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. <laughs> uh, Stan's old this toothbrush. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. Oh, yeah. Back when he was in jail. Well, the other jail. It says, Tan's previously owned... This used to be such a bright, cheery place. Memories. Okay. What else do we want to do while we're here? Is he back? Oh, yeah, there is no one here. Well, I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. Thank you, Godrush. Neither, Hello. little guy. Hi. <laughs> Broken fixer of her boat. Museum guy, we used that one thing to get us out of that, uh, to get Gullet to trust us. Do we actually have the book? Red and green parrots. Hello. Would you be interested in this for the Pirate Times? My friend wrote it. It's pirate poetry with a sort of a zombie Fall, angle. Finally following zombie through on that promise. Zombie pirate poems? That sounds really interesting. I'll definitely take a look at it for your friend. That's nice. I, you do know I actually am talking about another person, right? Those are not my poems. I helped sure. write them. If you say so. Promise keeper. That's nice. I see you've made some improvements. Yeah, the museum is oh, now the proud something. owner of one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. There are only three known to exist. It's oh. a real score. Incredibly valuable. Wow, sure hope nobody steals that. I've doubled my security. You can't be too careful. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> That's 
not supposed to be unlocked. <laughs> what are you doing? I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Uh... Looking good. I like things neat. Uh... That's folded perfectly. All right, guys, calm down. That'll do, parrots. Crisis averted. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Uh... Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. It's locked. Okay. He always puts it back very quickly, though. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. That's not good. Still have this. Whoa. That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Oh, handy. Now we have... Okay. Well, that should be handy. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Thank you. Do Is Guybrush the baddie in this story? Know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about oh, it no. just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. <laughs> oh, no. Guybrush is the enemy. He's the villain of this story. All right, um... The flags. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. So That's two flags. The two. I can see parts of the map through the holes. Maybe I need more flags. <sighs> okay. I'll have to figure out that last one. In the meantime. We can, uh, well, we got the book. Hopefully this is the I'll right book. I'll make this book. quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. I know I did the save, but then I went and did that other stuff. Let's see if this is the one he wants. Hey, Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about there a voyage go. that never ends. Right up your alley. Sounds interesting long. and long. Here's your joke book back. Sweet. All right, that was easy. Anything else going on here? Hello, Scruffles. Man, you don't like any of us. Top deck schedule. Now's not a good time to attract uh, attention. Yeah, good point. Is he still? <sighs> Poor Gullet. He wasn't that shocked to see a mullet. After all this time, is there anything else in here? If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big okay. mistake. Fair enough. Let's give some more feed for old time's sake to the uh, ghost chicken. <laughs> oh! I wonder what it's made out of. That one on the top right gives the best. Oh. I guess everybody is gone that hand before. Wait, what's this? It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from nice. the hottest peppers you can get. Heck yeah. Love me some demon pepper. If we can use this in the eating contest somehow. Poison the queen. <laughs> Her real enemy was time. I like what uh, Patrick Stewart says. 
in Star Trek Generations, that movie. It's time being an ally there to remind us that we're not here for long and we should cherish it. But yeah, I, I go with time being the enemy too. Oh, I probably should have stopped at Scurvy Island and tried to uh, see if we can't get the picture. Maybe we can swap it with the bird. No All way. Right. I don't want to lose my hand. Hold on. I've got just the thing for you. You want some demon pepper? That ought to give it some zip. Give what some zip? What did I just do? What? Ah! Whoa! Whoa. Where did we just... We put that on the fish. That ought to get some uh, zip. Uh, that's what we got. Okay. Are you going to explode now? Oh no! <laughs> Just disintegrate. <laughs> Gotta go to the bathroom. It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. All right. So let's see. Put this in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Elaine. Me and Stan are about to get a lot closer. That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> no comment on that. That's awesome. Should I show Elaine my new picture that I fixed? Hi. Hi. No uh, comment on how she's slowly finding out that I'm the real villain in this game? It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Okay. I fixed it. Hey, it's a picture of you and Stan. I'm gay now. It's a picture of you and Stan. That's her only reaction. Me kissing Stan, but that's fine. All right. I think we should be good to go. Uh, get this picture. Yeah, I don't know if we can. Can this be like the? Can the demon pepper be like the dagger in part four, where we can use it for everything? Uh, we still have the poison hagfish or the the peppered spicy hagfish. All right, check it out. Read it and wait. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend <laughs> stand together? We're lovers. We had painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. Takes a while. Yeah, you All don't want to clear. be right there. Stan's going to be so excited to see us, especially since we have his toothbrush. You know Stan? He's in the back corner. Ah, well, people here speak my language. You know Stan? He's in the back corner. Back corner, back corner. You know where Stan is? He's in the back corner. How many voices did they get to say, he's in the back corner? It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Don't want to escape just yet. Interesting. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> no one's noticed that yet. I've been here for two seconds and I pick up on the secret escape, escape hatch. Escape. Wait, what? What's going on with those colors? <laughs> They're not moving with the the clothing. Hi, Stan. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? <laughs> Piracy. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Plastic. Sculpture. 
Separately, they're exciting. Strength, elegance, transparency. Uh. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't wait too long. They're seven like hotcakes. I found your toothbrush. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only, only in for a month, month after yeah, until all. Until you represent Got a yourself copy of again. The judge's order right here. Unfortunately, trivial term of one month. Okay. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me, they never caught on to my pyramid scheme, <laughs> or I'd probably be doing ten years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records, well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. <laughs> My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. <laughs> I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. What's not to enjoy here at a hard work camp? Um, where is the, uh, the scurvy flyer? Can you patch us up for some me? Marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. Got any <laughs> promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Ugh. Oh my god. I don't know. I think Guybrush's suggestions weren't bad. It is centered, though. God, that's awful. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. Yeah. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, <laughs> scientific facts. People hate I'll scientific facts. I'll need to meet with facts. her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? Yeah. No, no, oh. that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. It's a good no line. shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. But you're here for a month. How am I going to get her in here? I think I'll poke around a little. You I have your toothbrush. Yourself, son. Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush. Sweet gingerbread cake. That's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. Old Bessie. Dental Samaritan. Hey, Stan. All right. Howdy, son. You still won't teach me what's wrong Remind with the... Me what uh... you said about a... She and I have got to have a... Really? I think I'll poke around a little. Wish you I had your toothbrush now, Stan. Nah, that's mean. All right. I've got a joke seriousness competition to win. And then a food competition. Feeling good. Oh, it was right here. It's Stan doing this one. All right, got the jokes. Do we need to read it one more time? Inventory is so full. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Pro gingerbread. If you will all come I to order, too. the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. What do you call a pirate with twelve swords? Whatever he wants you to. Ha ha ha. Is that the best you've got? Alright. Joke book time. Let's see. They're all winners, I bet. What did the demon say when he stepped on a pitchfork? Ow! <laughs> Literally holding the book. <laughs> That's the one? I mean, maybe like a little, like, just a little, <laughs> but not Never that. Never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is 
Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. What? Mm, whatever. About to see you in the. Uh, One more contest to go. The heart. The what? What is it? Hartitude? Hardiness. Competition with my spicy fish. <laughs> All right, here we go. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Wait, I can't eat this. Do I have like a regular Please fish? Place your fish on the plate. I'm about to die. Oh no. I needed to have like a backup of like non poisonous fish. Wood, we are waiting for you to place your. F this may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence! Oh god. <laughs> We're both gonna die. <laughs> Well, it seems that both Let's burn with are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Right. Contestants may now seek medical attention <laughs> if they so desire. Okay, so... So I still have the spicy fish, so let's go get some regular fish. All the way back on Melee Island. Let's get some fish. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to today we've got hag. So I'll get some more hag fish. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Alright. So we don't want to pepper this until I don't know, can I like pull out one from my own? Personal stash. All right, let's see. Heck, now hold on. Don't want to mess this up. Got some hagfish, put them in the bucket. So I still have hagfish. So we'll pepper these. That ought to get yeah, some right. zip. Maybe I can stealthily pull one out of my pants. If you would each now select. Alright, no one now, seemed to notice. Let the eating commence. <laughs> Who's the queen in town now? Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now. Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to one. Queen Swan is Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> and so, Hagfish was just what we were eating. Bermuda, I guess it changes Marty, with every playthrough. Guy Bruce Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all Give three of our crown. traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Will there be food with this? Should I sit on the throne? Should or I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned I like the idea vows. that the game just Build ends right here with him being the queen from now on. Dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed. Sure. 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 And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Uh, how many of these vows are there? Not many. 
Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda? Sacrificing, sacrificing my own life? Sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? I'm just in it for the crown, man. When do we get to the part with the crown? <laughs> Once you have completed your vows as queen and not before. This is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, oh, your seriousness, and your intelligence? She has the book, though. Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Uh, how about if Odina stays queen and I just claim the crown? The crown is the property of the queen. No. Nice try. <laughs> oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, your new queen. Guy I'm king. Rosh Threepwood. Fantastic. Congratulations. <gasps> you want my advice? Give me the crown already. <laughs> I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. And I'm off to write my memoirs. <laughs> oh. Here he is. Bust the crown. Is that is that bad? Oh. Um, oh, you were all watching me the entire time. As your queen. Ooh, worker own collective. Total anarchy. I mean, I know what the right answer is. I'm gonna tell you that we're all queens in our own. Space. I want to tell you that we're all queens in our own special way. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. <laughs> and you get a key. And you get one. And you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Immediately, some like, rival island comes in and just destroys, murders everyone in the chaos. Report alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. It's true, she's a crone. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Uh-oh. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about Leave her. Leave her alone. I took care of her. Oh, no. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold oh. one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care. Use your imagination. Yes, Captain. Now, man, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. So close to getting that key. See, we need her to come to the uh, ice Bermuda quarry. Hi. 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 Um, you need to come with me. You wouldn't happen to have a mop, would you? Not anymore. I made my own, but then I left it on LeChuck's ship. It was awesome. I used a sponge for the top part. No problem. I don't actually need one. I was just curious. Oh. Uh, yeah. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda? This isn't going to have a happy ending, is it? Oh, no. I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison, though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. A month. That's not so bad. What a... Ugh. Are you sure you can't come talk to Stan at the ice quarry? Absolutely sure. He'll have to come here. Okay. Love you. You too. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So we got two of the keys. So her place is going to be all ransacked. Oh, she's right there. Hi. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. 
took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. Whitey. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are Guess we okay? should ask if she's alright Only right my first. spirit is crushed. Rest of me will heal. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me again what you know about... Well, the mean little ghost. Old Mrs. Smith had one. There's the one Bella Fisher had. Yeah. One somewhere on Bird. Got that. Not Terror Island. We still gotta go there. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. Remind me who took your key? Some stocky little ghost pirate. Ghost pirate lady. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. This is, uh... Ahoy! Ahoy! What's going on, guys? Ahoy! Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy! 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 That's fun. Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. No. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. I have you don't limes. know that. My cousin's uncle's mother's best friend says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science. People hate scientific quackery. facts. If scurvy wasn't contagious, that only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. That's just science. Oh, wait. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? Oh. Looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. There you go. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! got you there. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? <sighs> you need to leave before you catch scurvy. Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Yeah, scurvy we're gonna need that. On board. Quarantine. Well, yeah, we need the new marketing campaign me. before That's these guys are gonna it. deal with us. Have a look at They're this not going to care lines. about this. Uh, as ascorbic is. acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucus like membranes. Hey, that is a bunch of These guys, not so nonsense. much. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track her plunder. As if you have any plunder. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites. <laughs> I knew Tell them anything bad. except the truth. They won't hear that. Hey, Murray. Have you tried scurvy? It would... Shut up, Murray. Terror Island. Didn't see this before. Hold on. Got plenty of places to go. Stay back! Oh, this guy. I can see you! Hey, How it's the, uh... Me? I just sailed up and here you were. Your stands, you? man. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Are you alone? At the moment? At the moment. <laughs> Do obnoxious oh, skulls. I'm yeah. Ned Filigree, accountant. Yep. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean... I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. <laughs> Simply no need. So you confirmed that you denied... We're trying to get Stan's him records. a longer what? sentence so yes. that he'll I mean, accept no, I confirm nothing. breaking what out. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. 
There's no need for any more evidence against him. Who is it you're afraid of? Stan, of course. Stan Stanman. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. <laughs> He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. <laughs> math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. That's fair. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless. I don't know. That's the kind of guy, though. You can sure, see him snap but you never one can day. Tell what someone like Stan that's what I'm saying. Do. He's got no moral center. Here's that term again. <laughs> like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the bird. Hmm. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want Ooh. to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Always working, Ned. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? <laughs> Not if you're smart Ned's about it. Ned, don't report it. Oh, but he's going to tell everyone once he finds the secret. I'm going to explore the island. Explore the island. Holler if you find anything interesting. He's... Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. That would be weird. Nice likeness of you. Well, where's the other half? No comment. Is this it right here? There we go. Is that a sail? Oh, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> Judge's years orders here. And years and years. Remember that. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Yep. Oh no. Is he gonna give me some? Take these records. Oh no. Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. They'll know what to do with them. Poor it's Stan. Very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years right. at a minimum. So he'll break I take out. Care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! <laughs> can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. I like this music a lot. Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. Thought we we're gonna get more mileage out of that. Perhaps we still will. There is a lot of junk in here, but here I go. think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Your Honor, I submit this satchel <laughs> bursting with incriminating the financial picture. documents as Exhibit That's A. That's fantastic. Everyone Evidence is so Your empty. new queen. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Yeah. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order. Order in the court. Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. Can Your Honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, Section H, uh, Subsection G, Parenthesis E. I see. And section U. Okay. And section A. I with. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis a vis customs documents that your name is actually Mr. <laughs> You're Marley, our queen. AKA Guybrush Threepwood. If I don't get over. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn accord. Is a I'm no expert. But this stuff looks as crooked as my Uncle Elmo's teeth. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Cute couple. Here we 
go. Does this work? This should clear up any issues <laughs> about who I am. Do you hear you're like, wait, but you're our queen and, and your net fill I've been you calling you and guy the rush. documents you are submitting are true and legal. <laughs> Damn straight. Damn straight. Order. 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 The court. There will be no more outburst of <laughs> profanity in this courtroom. In Sorry, light Ron. of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. All right. 10 years. Something tells me Stan's not going to be too happy to see this, but he might take me up on my offer now, finally. It's the secret tunnel to the ice cream. Enter it. Read it and weep, Stan. Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. <laughs> I don't know why everyone doesn't just leave. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. Uh. So come on. What? You... Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. What's going on with your coming? Is it just the shackles? Get a key for these. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> I like it only takes us like five seconds to get back to a melee island, but you know, got to imagine it's probably like a day journey just to do all these little things. But again, it's always night here, so. Hi there. Hi there. Hello. Hey, I got your mom's Hello stuff. Again. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the... Let's see. Here we go. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. She's an expert, man. I don't even make man. these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. Okay. Never figured anything out in the alley. I don't know. Maybe that's where the game ends. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of- I'm not any closer to caring about it. Time to set sail. Back north. Great north. Bermuda Island. Love this little shortcut we got now. Golden key. Golden key. There, shackle key. Let's get you out of here, Stan. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the limes. There we go. All right. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. industry. Glad it's not Let's moving start with either. Branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like sour razor bombs. bombs or sour bombs that or something. That does sound cool. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline <laughs> issues. What do you think? Saber fruit, death globes, fang berries. I like fang berries. Uh, fang berries. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, <laughs> Fair crystal question. vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie. They imply. Guybrush, if Fangberries could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? 
Let's find the secret monkey island. Find the secret monkey island. Find the secret monkey island. Find the secret of monkey island. Guy brush. That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Flying. Flying. Definitely. Great. Let's go with that. <laughs> no one's going to believe that lines can make you fly. Sounds like Not fly. Not literally, but in their hearts they will. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Mm -hmm. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. <laughs> don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Plunder the main. Bite these. I like that. Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. Can't wait to show this flyer to the science this deniers. Is a new flyer. <laughs> Prevents hair loss, reduces belly fat, may also cure scurvy. Wow! Fantastic. Fangberries! <laughs> Flying. Show people this. Fantastic. Be begging for your You're a genius, your Stan. Price. Firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. That's true. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. All right. I'll just borrow this for a little while. Let's give this to the, uh... The Adrift Pirates. Better leave it where it is. Alright, gentlemen. I have the cure to all your problems. Hold on. Just had to sail away and sail back for dramatic effect. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Sabertooth lime. Fangberries. Well, there you go. A new amazing miracle fruit. Uh, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Have you got any of these miracle fangberries? Miracle fangberries. fangberries. Sure things. Right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science, science free? In them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. <laughs> We're saved. Bite these and welcome aboard. Right. Just needed the right spin. Marketability on those fang berries. Their ship, their rule. It's seen better days. All right, let's take a look at all these now. One, two, three. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. <gasps> I'll mark it with an X. Bella's key. Excellent. They went that way. I'm sure they won't miss one little flag, but I'd also rather not ask. Yeah, I agree. They're excited about their hair loss cure and the ability to fly on the scurvy bit too. All right, finally gonna go to this brand new X on the map. All right, Bella Fisher's secret fishing spot. Finally going there. Not a lot of work for this one. Not a lot of work for all these keys. This is certainly there. exciting. There's nothing here. Hey, Murray. Anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. Hmm. It's chained to my ship. Watch out below. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? Don't worry. I'll do this one myself. Why do I only get four minutes now? Thought I could hold my breath for eight minutes. What gives? This is really deep. I've oh, okay. already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm not even mortal, and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. <laughs> Book, just begging. Um, who would help me hold my breath for longer? 
I love Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. That's right. Sea Monkey Harder. Mm. Crackers. Nope. Someday, all this will be mine. Can and it will burn. Can the limes, uh... Was that on the flyer? Limes grant you the ability to breathe underwater. Got the diary. We Blow up the blowfish. Given the number of leaks this ship undoubtedly still has. When in doubt, check your inventory. So now I can use this as a uh, extra air supply. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now. Hold on. Or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Hold up. Inhale. There you go. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Well, hopefully it's not more than two minutes deeper. Okay. This checks out. So it really was just 10 more seconds deeper. Ish. Let's see. Whoa. Ooh, it's beautiful. Bella Looks Fisher. like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. Looks like I've tracked you down. Hey, she's got the... Uh, really far down, actually. She still want to do... Uh, Chumps. Greetings, fellow chum. I have a story for you. It's like I'm dead. I was bait casting, and then all of a sudden. Right, we need to hurry this up. My ship. Inside. I lit the. Then we stuck. <laughs> no response. Oh, there's the key. It's just right there. That's why I always carry my trusty knife. Oh, that works too. It's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. <laughs> Is some fish gonna tell Lane what I did? And he destroyed Bella Fisher's ship. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. Oof. I better split. Let's get the hell out of here. Thanks for the key, Bella. Is this the curse? She was talking about. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so Did you many read the other book? things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. I feel like everyone knows that one joke, used though. To say, Good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me, army mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. All right. Always good to have two enemies, right? Oh, what a great... The sea monkey. My old ship was named after this plaque. <laughs> okay. See anything yet? The future, the past, the terrible, terrible present. All right, where else? We still need to go to Terror Island. Hopefully the name is just a name. Oh. What's going on on Terror Island? This place doesn't like visitors. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. Did that just move? I thought I saw it move. Ah, Papa Pichu! That hurts! I hope they're not poisonous. Wow. Unlucky place. Bizarre grove. Mysterious clearing. Twisting path. It's right next to us. 
must be the last guy. <gasps> a silver key. Now, it's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Yeah. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. I got the key. Clearing. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Uh-oh. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Andy. Another ill-fated soul, I'll say. Looks like another greedy pirate Lord. who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Scorpions and spiders. We using the uh, the lamp here? Is that what's going on? Is it kind of like lighting up around us? Looks like it. It's compulsively saving here. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? Papa Papa Pichu. It's from Monkey Island Three. That's nice. He acknowledged that. It's locked. How was that sound? Do I want to know? I think the lock must be under that sign. It says X Y Z Z Y. I can't quite get it off of there. Trusty knife. Good way to stab yourself. Ah, uh, hamburgers. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Where's my... There we go. Well, I meant to... Okay, it's lit. There we go. It says, yeah, that's warning. like as far back as you can enter throw back. Twisty passages, XYZ mostly one. very similar. Something? <laughs> oh my god. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Spring sprung hard. Beast had been on the sale in the next season. She tried and failed to keep it casual. Another note. Their last summer night together was torrid. Red. Huh. We're like, we've entered horror game territory officially right here. Another note. This major voyage quest near completion. Rachel's nose tasted spring coming. Every ocean sunrise and moonrise reminds me of you, those dual orbs dancing in the winter sky, he mused, pen in hand. Maybe we need to like go in order and the symbols teach us the right order of like the story once we find them all. It's crisp fall nights. So we had winter, fall, Spring, summer. This 
So... This is kind of like a secret of man a little bit where you follow the seasons. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Oh, there we go. Wow, neat. It's magic. So from the start, I could do this right now. I guess it screws it all up if you, uh... Even go in the wrong room to begin with. All right. This one. This one. This one. Party hat. Done. That was easy. <laughs> Just had to do it from the start. All right. The pit of agony lies ahead. That's promising. I think we hear some of that agony in the background. It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. Eight minutes again. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. Don't worry. Eh, no luck lighting a match underwater. All oh, right, yeah, even those. Help me. Help. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. We need flambe. We wake him up. It's getting hard to... Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Let's see if flambe is around. want to wake him up. Okay, let's get his... Yeah, I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon <laughs> fire. Demon fire. Fantastic. Such an accommodating guy. That flambe. Alright, back to Terror Island. Doom. When I smell asphalt... I think a marine in trouble. I would have done it again now that I know what's going on. Now that I know I need to do it from the start. It looks okay. Here goes. Here we go. He's taking a beating. What's up? Lucky thing you landed on Herman. Herman Toothrot? Oh my god. I think so. It's been a while. Good about Herman Toothrot. How you been? How have you been? Meh. Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however... It's been a long time. Yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Hmm. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah. You do better Ooh, than that. You're right. Yeah, that feels good. Come on. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. Toothbrush? It's a golden key. Heck yeah. All right. Oh. No touching! Oh. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. You were hunting for the keys too. 
that's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. There you go. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. If you let me have the first key, first give then me I'll the get lamp. Out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, <laughs> then key. We would be here all day. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be a... It needs to be key first. It needs to be a... How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I Be know I can trust while. you? Just give me the key already. No! <laughs> People give dilating. Me the key! No! I need it! Fighting your old pal, Herman Toothrot. Uh oh. No! to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. There you go. Done. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrock? We don't when? care. Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right, we have four keys. And then the last one. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? They hid it somewhere where I would never find it. I guess. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? <laughs> Wally! No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. Oh, she likes when Wally. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, Scratch. sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that... The secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think <laughs> that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's huh? not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence. Touchy. And do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. <gasps> Ooh. Cower in there. It's going with the bizarre grove. It's a leaning tree. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. It sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Hmm. Now, where would they hide that final key? So we've been all around Terror Island by now. Is it somewhere on the ship? Wait, where are we? Are we having fun yet? See Just a random spot in the ocean, even though we were clearly... I like it's day, like a meter away from the ship. But here, have you seen the final key, Apple Bob? Finished the new book yet? No. As far as I can tell, it has no end. <laughs> Some stories are better off that way. It's fantastic. Nice. Has Iron Rose been back to the ship? She did come back for a bit, yeah. She was in a hurry, went below decks, then came uh, right back uh, up and left again. Very interesting. All right. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Key is somewhere below deck. Ghost Rat, have you I seen? I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. She 
hide it in his cabin? No. Ghost chicken? There you go. As long as, as long as I'm here, can't say no to ghost chicken. Got an egg. Give me the egg. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. <laughs> Mothers are more vicious defending their young. Ew. Now, where'd my mop go? Oh my gosh, it's right there. <laughs> Almost missed that. That's handy. Here you go, ghost chicken. Can I have the key? <laughs> oh. Unexpected, but welcome. Yikes. <laughs> Go. Hold on. There, she just crapped it out. Went via egg and then... Oh, that was fast, considering this one's had an egg in it the entire game. Golden key. White stolen key. That's the last key. Voodoo shop, here I come. Five for five. All right. This is like the longest part ever. Good lord. Reefwood has all the keys! How would they That's know right, about Captain. the last one? Just recovered the last From one. your ship. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's How would they even know today. that I got the last I'm key? I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you. She said almost however. ready. Aw, you're betraying me. I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Two enemies. Never change, Apple Bob. All right, automatic. Stay here on melee. That's your only option. Oh, we're so close to figuring out the secret. That door, oh yes. All the keys. <laughs> the only thing that matters right now. It's it's true. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We just know which one each one goes in. <gasps> oh what's in there? Wow. What is it? Don't bogart the secret, Guybrush. It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. It's another chest. <laughs> what? Yeah. Chest and a safe. Good Hello. lord. These are double monocle for okay. this. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. Seems like overkill. It seems like overkill. Well, there's no serial number. Damn it. That was my only idea. Maybe I can break it open. <laughs> Get all these things. Just keep telling yourself. This is not a problem. Just keep telling yourself that, Guybrush. Three, four! Ah, jeez. Come on, man. I did all the heavy lifting on this. Look, Chuck. My old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepward. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. 
The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. <sighs> that would have been nice to know ahead of time. for secret. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took Where'd it Where'd Voodoo Lady go? So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me. And count to a hundred <laughs> before you leave the building. Tanya LeChuck likes us. A hundred. <laughs> Guybrush! Oh. Whitey Bones said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about Frustrated. it? Frustrated. LeChuck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. Part 5. Beneath the Monkey Head. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. <laughs> I'll definitely have to take notes next time. What did they do? Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Yeah, I did do that. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. I'm the queen there. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for I you. told them they're all queens. I gave them all keys. It took way more than five <laughs> minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Ow! Quite funny. <laughs> Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. Yeah. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. <laughs> I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that now? Four? Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits <laughs> went missing. Yeah, I keep Curiously, robbing the place. There was only one name in the guest book. <laughs> I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. <laughs> it wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? Herman Toothrot is also a little you upset. You found him? He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. Well, he was already in the dark cave. I would have notified the authorities so, eventually. To be fair, no net impact overall. <laughs> Except for the key. True, but he wasn't really using it. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. You've been busy. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just. I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. Is this what Ron exactly Gilbert talking? Are you expecting to find? Glory. I won't there just be go. plain Quest old Guybrush Threepwood Mighty Pirate anymore. No. I've always liked him. But now I'll be Guybrush Threepwood Secret Finding Mighty Pirate. There you go. Which is way better. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here she is. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I remember them. Full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. Uh-oh. Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. Heck yeah, Lane. I'll catch up. Sweet. Get a save going here. All right, so let's uh, explore beneath the giant monkey head further. Wally, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Wally. Don't look good. How's it hanging? Got to go with the obvious, right? How's it hanging? 
Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying out some new material. Don't new. quit your day job. Being a mighty pirate. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. I mean, <laughs> just changed. Thanks hey, for the C map. Thanks for the That C was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Glad you liked it. I think it's what got you uh, in trouble, though. <laughs> when we swapped those How out. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. <laughs> yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. <laughs> I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. I wish I could get you out. You and me. All right, we're just. I'll come back yeah, for I'd you. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure, run off. Wally will be fine. Starting to consume. Well, starting to. It's been consuming. Guybrush. I feel like he'd even give up a lane for the secret, you know? He just has to know. Blombe, you're awake. Nice. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You Sick. don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Uh. Correct. I want to be there before he opens. That's a badass entrance, by the way. From <laughs> you two deserve each other. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Run. Yeah, I think that's going to be the point in the end. It's going to be like we're going to leave it a secret. We're not going to be able to find out. It's probably like it's going to take like ten more years to figure out the secret, and Elaine's going to be like, "Just let go," like the end of Indiana Jones three. Contemplate certain lava death. I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Hmm. I can't really see down Well, you want the secret. Here goes. Gonna have to jump in that lava. Phew. Oh. <laughs> okay. Guess I have to go this way now. LaChuck, I'm coming for you! And a lead. Right here in the cave. Damn you, three blood. Got more lives than a cat. I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 <laughs> times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. Organized. I mean, look at the inventory. Everything has a nice little space of its own. You know? Yeah, we don't have any of the, uh... Okay, we got some hagfish free in our pants, but, you know, don't hold that against us. Try that way. Back up to Lava Lake. Okay. Monkey with the parrot. Oh, that's cute. What else have we got? A jolly monkey. Hmm. It looks proud to be a monkey. <laughs> Why shouldn't it be? It's a jolly proud monkey. <gasps> piece of eight. Oh, pebble. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. Let's pick it up. It looks proud to be a monkey. Do you need something, monkey? Looks like he's toasting. We've done this. Which game did we put a... Uh... I'm trying to think of what it was. Is it going to weigh down now? It's holding a mug. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say that was the right thing to do, but we'll save just in case. I'm naming it Captain Squint. Squinting monkey. It's a mug key. Uh, do you need some corrective lenses? All right. Could I just it's give holding it a monocle. anything? No, okay. 
some hagfish. Frustrated monkey. I can relate. What do you need, frustrated monkey? Want my knife? Yeah. Is it just like anything pointy it'll take? We'll take the pen. No, I guess that was right. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It's made of stone. Right. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. Oh, we're going in like a circle here. All right. Uh, some crackers to give the parrot. Only the organized pirate will pass. What I mess up? It's got the mug. Did I take back the monocles? Oh, I did. So now it's probably good. Only the organized pirate will. You've got crackers. Oh, did I take back the knife? <laughs> I keep forgetting. I take something out and I forget to put something back in. All right, that was the solution. Sweet. Can I take these back? But the door staying open? Nice. I can't give up my trusty dagger, which I use for literally everything in this game. Getting a lot of mileage out of that dagger. Sorry, monkey. Cool. Right. Luck check! The secret will never be yours! I hate solving puzzles more than I hate street <laughs> wood. You wouldn't like these games, then. The secret will never be yours. Creep wood, won't you ever give up and just go home? <sighs> Once is a coincidence. Twice is suspicious. He really doesn't want us finding out that secret. Only the observant pirate will pass. Observant pirate. Coin? It's one of those stone pieces of eight. So now we have two. Yep, it's made of stone. Okay. Captain Monkey Beard. <laughs> those epaulets deserve a room of their own. <laughs> Do you want my? My pieces of eight. There you go. Do you want two? Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Another stone it's piece one of, of eight. Stone pieces of eight. Cheer up, little guy. You'll Aww. go far. Cabin monkey. <laughs> so sad. Do you want like a little stone piece of eight, or just one? Uh. Hmm. This is everything, huh? Clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. So I don't have enough coin. Like, I can't give them all up. Is there any more? Did I miss one? Or two? Or three? <laughs> I feel like I, I would have noticed. Uh, here's another one. Okay. Not 
one here. I missed one here. Yeah, I could see. Just giving each one one more than the last. So I gave you one. Because you're at the bottom of the of the ranks. This one has to have two, I would assume, because he's a first swab. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. And this one has two. We need to give it something else. I want my exit card? What else would be nice for you? Oh, my coins! Here you go. My last coin. Sweet. I didn't notice that was my last piece of hate. That's funny. Alright, do I want these back? You don't get to keep my money, Those obviously. Those deserve a room of their own. Do I get... There we go. Sorry, little cabin monkey. <laughs> it was all the money I had in the world. Alright, moving right along. LeChuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time be a charm, three weed. <laughs> So much double crossing. Oof. <sighs> Next time, I keep my voice down. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's Only this one? Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. Bloodthirsty. Can't take all these sad like monkeys. Oh no. But I'm bloodthirsty. Should I just stab him? <laughs> stab the statue. Oh wow. Okay. Poor sad monkey. What's this one got going on? Screaming monkey. It looks like its leg is hurt. Should I just stab all these monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> it's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. I feel very sorry for this monkey. Oh no, we need like the rest of this monkey. We need to build the rest of this monkey out of hagfish. That didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, I don't know what to or where to stab. Worth a shot, right? You just need some limes. Oh no. Right, hold on. There's no way I'm getting through there. Yeah. This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. Okay, so I'm not circling here. Um. These two are good. I, sh I should have been having a knife count. We're at least at like 12 by now. Versus the one time I used most every one of other one of these items. Fill the grog mug with the oil. It's gonna be three points oil. Should I take a refreshing swig? I don't think bloodthirsty is meant to be taken literally. At least I hope not. Here we go. 
close enough, right? Who's paying attention? There's no way I'm getting through there. All right. Sixteen twenty-five. I noticed. Wow. Not sure if that number is going to be necessary. Yep, sixteen twenty-five. Guy brush. Rotate this baby. Sixteen hundred twenty five guy brush stayed a lot. Oh, but which? So long, Captain Madison. This is like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies, the detectives don't know where to start. 
After four extra years, their peg four legs years. were weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two four left, steps. till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. So maybe it's four from the 1625. So, so get the 1625, change it four times. Who hates the puzzles more? Three foot or the chuck? All right, so one, two, three, four. Oh, that's not the, I don't think that's the number it started with. Three, and two, I don't want to close any more possible escape like, routes. What am I missing here? <laughs> Finally need a hint. I did that. Oh, not four. Okay. Was that even a... Was that a year? I thought the years were like a lot farther out. Was there one that was that close to 1625? By which I mean 1621 or 1629. And now, because after that it goes 1650. I saw that. Yeah. I One of the stone slabs from the altar. Maybe you have to look at it before you can even do it. One of the stone slabs from the altars. Not. There's some writing on it. After four, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left. Till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through. I, I saw that. I got that. Oh, there's different stairways? I didn't see there were multiple ones. Oh, there's, uh... Base. Okay. I mean, wouldn't that just be the solution right there? Would. All right. So that kind of here. What the schmer? That looks right with the face that was upstairs. I like the idea of just putting these together. Why do I have to like do anything else? And now maybe I need to turn this. Wow, that is tricky. They had that extra layer there. Four, three, two. All right, piece that one together. Thank huh? you, hint book. What? I, I was knew just it. deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm. Oh no, not again. Not yet. I knew it. seems to be stuck closed. Yep. It seems to be st uh, must have locked when I came out. <laughs> Score. Free popcorn. 
High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, three minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Glad you finally made it, kid. Stan? Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. <gasps> what do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What the H? Blunder Bunny. I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? Four for the man. I'd go with Flair. Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? It got ruffled in the fight. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna look around some more. Why, that was an absolute ripper! <laughs> I hereby declare you the winner! Whoa, deja vu. Ooh, it's like a gift shop, though. Gate at the souvenirs. I'm not gonna turn it off just yet. Well, I guess I'll turn this off. Oh wait. Oh, can't talk to her. The switch is locked. Elaine, let's renew our vows. Next time, Plunder Bunny, we need to leave. We both Plunder Bunny? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. the chuck better every time the secret is mine what each time i come here stan really ups the challenge but it's still the chuck zero guybrush threepwood six huh. the secret is mine six there you go nice twist adding in madison trent and lila the team up had me fooled for a while the secret is mine very meta well Back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. What? Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Ugh. Dag nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. Can I ask the locksmith? This key doesn't fit. Hold on. I don't see any numbers. Just a long legal disclaimer that mentions dismemberment and not responsible. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Historic Landmark, the original secret, a pirate huh. adventure park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Knife it.
Dad? Yeah, that's that me was right a now. silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. <laughs> we're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the <sighs> one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. Yeah. You have to tell me what it was. Yeah. Oh. Wow, we can't save here. It was better not to know. That's probably the right answer. The secret really was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, there's so many perfect options. The chest was filled with gems, rubies, and gold. That's boring. I wasn't making anything up. That was what really happened. There isn't any one answer to what the secret is. Oof. So tempted to click on the friends we made along the way. You know what? We always have something to, to wish for, don't we? Your mom was right. It was better not to know. What was exciting for me was imagining the possibilities and talking about them with other people. All that would end if I peeked inside the chest. So I didn't. Mom? Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our like, it's just head with your jewels. outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. <laughs> Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! Get some scurvy dogs. And he just forgot about it. I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. Aww. I'll meet you down there. Cute. Mm. Pulls at my heartstrings, man. That was that was actually a good ending right there. That was really sweet. It's been added to the scrapbook. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrap? Ever since I was a kid. Go all the way. One time. These are from the time I found the Here secret we go. of Monkey Island. Serving on the Chuck ship was an interesting experience. Nice. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. It was a race to get to the secret first. <laughs> we chased the Chuck back to Monkey Island. We never helped Wally. I him down. I found Wally. I didn't help him though. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. Wait. What's this? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Young person. Nice. That's sweet. Anyways, difficulties of making a sequel. Huh. Wow. Challenges we set to make Tales of Monkey Island as a story about trust. 40s by then. That's a lumpy and crusted layer of experience. We're well into our 50s now. We've had lengthy careers, a lot of games. Monkey Island still defines us to a certain degree. In the minds of many of we are those guys who made that game a long time ago. Unfinished business. Guybrush, like us, is older now, and he's had a long and reasonably successful career, but he's mostly associated with something that happened a long time ago, and that feels unfinished to him. The game is a goofy pirate adventure, the same as always, but it's also it's a story about trying to recapture the past, with all its alleged youthful strength and glory. Guybrush will both succeed and fail at this. He will sort of get what he wants, but it won't be what he expected. I predict the same for us. Wow. Well said. That's sweet. <laughs> All right, let's let's load this up. All right, so we're gonna take a peek and uh, hopefully find out what's it. We I feel like we still need to turn everything else off first. 
We don't need to, I just think it adds to the scene a bit more if everything else just get more of a spotlight. Okay. The key! What a stroke of luck. The locksmith had the key all along. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Alright everyone. Get ready to be disappointed. Score! Free popcorn. Not by that. <sighs> Alright. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. Ah! Ah, it's a rass of wreck. <laughs> That's Stan. I found the secret <sighs> of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. Ah! That's pretty good. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to not lock up and properly shut down after that stand, but oh my god. Well, you know, we can give a different answer now. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. The box was gaudy and so was the treasure. <laughs> Dad, that was a silly ex- I thought you liked you and Chuck- That's- you're the one who said- you said that's not- I did? I wanna know- you have to tell me what- Alright. So, I'm just kinda curious about all these, honestly. Let's see all the endings. The chest was filled with gems, rubies, and gold. A prize fit for a king. Or a mighty pirate. I buried it on a small island and made a really cool looking map to where it is. Rich, rich, rich. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories <laughs> That's cute. again? I was telling him the one about how we found the st <laughs> The friends we made along the way. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Aww. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. <laughs> Mom, Dad won't tell me... Are you and now, I wasn't making anything up. That's what really no, happened. No, I wasn't making anything up. That was what really happened. It was a frickin' t-shirt. Dad won't uh, tell me why you feel it. That's the most boring one. <laughs> All right. Finally, there isn't any one answer to what the secret is. Except for a t-shirt. There isn't any one answer to what the secret is. It's not like a rock or a banana. It's like a story. It changes with time. And the person telling it. Everyone you ask will have a different idea. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret okay. is. Are you feeling? I was. You know what? I stand by it. I st Let's go down. To Yay! I think that that third choice it's is the best. Be I'll meet you down. I like the idea of. You know what? The secret gave us purpose. Gave us something to look forward to. Something to strive for. It brought out the best of us. So, revealing that secret would only change everything. And you know, end that, so. I like that. But there you go. Return to Monkey Island. Thank you one last time to Josh, friend of the channel, for gifting me a copy right after it came out. And, uh, great game. An excellent time playing with it. <laughs> playing through it, I should say. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching this. If you tuned in when I was doing it live or after the fact, just to watch, uh, watch these videos. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Briggins. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.